baby. We are here. Borough time, baby. Borough time. We have got Middlesbrough v Swansea today. Middlesbrough v Swansea. Uh, live from the Riverside Stadium. How are we all? Good to see each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in here on the Red Radio. And also to my live YouTube audience. Hello, you beautiful humans. You Harry, Hells Bells, Thompson. Good to see you. Social Smoggy Walks, Anonymous. Oh, it's so good to see each and every one of you. We're back, baby. We miss the Monday, at least a long weekend. But we are back here, ready to go, ready to watch some Borough. And it is Middlesbrough versus Swansea today. Oh, my goodness. Guys, I, uh, I, I, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good game today. I'm feeling it. We were just talking to some fans as they were walking into the stadium. There, uh, everyone's quietly confident. You know, they think it's gonna be a tough test. You've got your sensible borough fans out there. You've got your non-sensible borough fans in here, which is me. I said five nil. I, I honestly think we're gonna be fantastic today. Hayden Hackney's on the bench. Hayden Hackney's on the bench. Can you believe it? So it, it's fantastic, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. So uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm ready to go uh, here. And I just cannot wait. I cannot wait uh, to watch Borough again on a Saturday night. Now, it's an interesting time slot for me tonight, right? It's an interesting time slot for me because, right, it's going, good morning, Borough fan. Good morning, East. As people rolling on the YouTube channel, what's going on? Welcome on in my live YouTube audience. And... To those on the red, I absolutely love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. It's so good to see you. Sorry that I missed your Monday, uh, but we're back, baby. We're back. Borough time, baby. Borough time. Borough v Swansea. It's interesting tonight. So I have... You guys, how you put your clocks back or forward last week? I do that tonight here in Australia. So I start now at 1 a.m. My time. That's when we're going to kick off at 1 a.m. Kick off. And then at 3 a.m., you're going to see this very clock here, if you're watching live on YouTube, switch back an hour and go back to 2 a.m. So this game's only going to go about an hour for me <laughs> uh, with the time difference. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy. But I hope you're all fantastic, safe and well. It's so good to see you all. Thank you for joining me here on the Borough Watch Along. It is Middlesbrough versus Swansea. This, the 6th of April, 2024. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I'm just very, very excited just to be watching a good run in home from this Borough team. Uh, Birdsy, you big sex muffin. How are you, mate? No matter what you believe, today has to be a win so I can continue my promotion. Delusion. Hello, Rye. How are you doing? Wife and kids are right. Everyone is fantastic here, Birdsy. Thank you for asking, mate. That means you get some extra sleep. You can use that. You're not wrong, East. You're not wrong. See the bags? See the bags? How is Luke Thomas playing? He's not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I think there's still a cry from a lot of Borough fans to get Engel on that sheet. Just because Luke Thomas is a loan signing... Uh, and we don't want to be developing someone else's player. But uh, I still think Luke Thomas, you know, he's got a bright future about him. Do you know what I mean? And they, they, they were saying at one point he's worth eight, eight nine mil. Do you know what I mean? It, it, such is the future of, of Luke Thomas. So, uh, look, you know, Carrick knows best. Carrick knows best. G'day, Matty. How are you? Let's put the lucky hat on. It's time for the lucky hat. It's time to go on. It's lucky hat time, baby be a tough tough Swansea outfit to break Baron Borough fans don't you worry about that this is going to be very very difficult but I think and I believe I believe that we can get the job done today we have hit a bit of form haven't we we've we've drawn with Southampton we've beaten Chef Wed we've now got a beautiful packed Riverside Stadium on a sunny afternoon as well what a day it is at the beautiful Riverside as I look over the ground in front of me here uh beautiful sunshine Beautiful weather, beautiful borough team, uh, ready to take all three points away from Swansea here this afternoon. Coulson is better than Thomas, so why loan him out? Ooh, it's tough, tough, tough social. How is Hayden Coulson going at, at Blackpool, by the way? I haven't even checked in on that. Uh, I reckon Thomas is a stipulation in his contract that he has got to have a certain amount of games. The only thing that makes sense to me. Yeah, that's a good shout, actually, Burnsy. That's a good shout. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, I've been on holiday, so I missed the last five games. Oh, how was your holiday? Hope you enjoyed it. I don't think we could not make the playoffs anymore after Norwich have beaten Ipswich. That is correct. Uh, Norwich have won at the earlier game, which pretty confidently cements their top spot uh, in that final six, which is tough for the Borough to take because it now makes it a seven-point gap, I believe, as I bring up the championship table here in front of me. It is a seven-point gap. So Middlesbrough, sorry, it's more than that now. I apologize. It is a nine-point gap. Uh, obviously, Norwich with a game in hand now, obviously winning this afternoon, beating Ipswich Town. But yeah, the, it is a un, it is a nine point gap now, uh, opening up ahead of us to get into that. Look, we've still got Coventry, we've still got Preston North End uh, there or thereabouts. But unfortunately, Norwich, West Brom, who are the fifth and sixth teams, seem to be running away for in a little bit. But look, the best thing that we can do, the best thing that we can do, right, is, is just focus on us. Do you know what I mean? 
focus on us, worry about us. Um, my goodness, it's absolutely pouring here. That scared the Belizeans out of me. Sorry, I didn't know what was happening hitting my window and it's absolutely pouring down here. I've got the rain. You guys have got the sunshine. Fly me over somebody, please. Um, it's absolutely bucketing down here in Australia at 1 a.m. in the morning. But look, we've just got to focus on our on our backyard. Do you know what I mean? We've got to focus in on what Borough can do and what we control. And what we can control is our performances. Taking in a good run to the end of the season, which gives everybody confidence. One, it gives us confidence that Borough going into next season uh, have found the form, have found the, the, the key ingredient. It gives players that we might want to approach in the summer transfer window and say, look, look where we finished. We were just outside of the the playoff, you know, playoff paces next season, bit of a push. Do you know what I mean? And it just gives everyone that bit of a roll on effect into next season where we can have a really another good crack at it under Michael Carrick and co. So that's what I want to see for the next couple of games. Uh, Borough fan says, as long as you want to wake the neighbors today, we'll all be happy. I want to wake everybody up today. Should we sign O'Brien on a permanent? If so, what fee? That's a great question, Matthew. Uh, I think we should sign Lewis O'Brien on a fee. I would say he's worth, two point maybe three mil um not sure not sure though it'll be interesting to see uh what nottingham have value him at obviously nottingham forest uh in a bit of financial difficulty as well so they might be in a position where they have to sell uh any predictions right i hope the family's good family as well good morning johnny how are you mate good to see you uh prediction for me is four nil to the borough today i'm not i'm i'm literally I'm going nuts, aren't I? I'm saying 4 0. I don't know why. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to be here, to be honest with you. Hi, how's it going? I'm fully red today, by the way. Borough home kit, borough red, red, uh, red hat as well. We're ready to rock and roll. Hey, Gary, good to see you, mate. Uh, good to see Rav and Hackney back on the bench. How good is that, right? I was sat behind Rav, Bangura, Hackney at the game last week, and they were incredible with the younger fans. They didn't stop posing for a photo. That is excellent. That's what you love to hear, Gary. They, you know, some players don't like that. You know what I mean? Some players hate posing for fans, especially the kids. They find it annoying and all that sort of stuff. But you know you've got a good core group or you know you've got a good lad when they're willing to stop for as many photos as they can. I know it gets annoying, but it's there, you know, you got to think it's that one time that that kid gets an opportunity to have a photo with a Hayden Hackney. Now, it might be his 50th time that day, but it's that one kid's chance. Do you know what I mean? And I absolutely love that, especially for the kids, especially for the kids. So it's good to hear that, Gary. Uh, if we finish the season on a high, it encourages our best players to stay. With a good transfer window, we might actually have a shot next season. Love that, Alfie. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say. It's raining here, right? So possible snow as well. Is it really? Well, it's absolutely bucketing down here. My window's about to cave in by the sound of that. What do you think? We Who do you think we should sign next season? We need strikers. All right, we need strikers. That's what we need. We need some goals up front. Latte Lath is obviously finding form. Uh, Joshy Coburn, not sure what's going to happen with him, but I would say another two strikers. If you're asking me which strikers, I would look at Cassini Yangi playing for Portsmouth in League One and Macaulay Langstaff playing at Notts County, who's a local borough lad. Uh, 20 something odd goals to him in League Two. I know it's a big jump up, but I'd still look at him because he's a local lad. Uh, and I think that'd be fantastic to bring him home. Uh, so that's who I'd be looking at. Two strikers, definitely. And then you'd have to look at maybe the outgoings because you'd think there would be. Senny Dieng's being linked with some people. Will Riley McGree stay? You know, all this sort of stuff that people seem to be asking, which I think he will. And I, you know, I'm just saying, I mean, I spoke to the lad and he absolutely loves it. So, uh, you know, I, I would love to keep, uh, you know, the, the core of this group together and Riley's the leader of that core for me so uh but you look we'll have to you know this transfer windows can always throw stuff up can't be and at the end of the day it's football if they go you know if there's a good offer there blah 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 blah. so i guess i hope that we're proactive rather than reactive that let's just say that maybe three two i think going for three two finn okay nice i'm at the match g'day james how are you Where, which seat are you in which seat are you give me a wave I see you, James. How are you, mate? Seat D, 23E. Good to see you, mate. Well, I'm waving down there to you, James. Good to see you. Hello, Lily. How are you? I uh, got some lovely sun down in Birmingham. Nice. Right. I just watched Aussie Rules football last night for the first time, and I got hella confused. I thought I was watching three rugby games at once. I love it, Lucky. I love it. Look, if you're going to watch AFL, mate, by all means, uh, do, but don't watch the Adelaide Crows, my team, uh, because they absolutely suck right now. Uh, we are dead set last on the table, and uh, it absolutely... It, it, I'm crying to sleep every night if I'm Adelaide Crows fan, but AFL, obviously my national sport. Absolutely love it. Teams are ready to come out. Look at the fans. As we pan around the riverside, we've got the kids waving the flags now as well. Absolutely love that. Oh, what I'd do to be a kid in one of those kits next to them, just waving a flag. Uh, the Borough fans out in the sunshine. Absolutely brilliant. It is Middlesbrough versus Swansea here, ladies and gentlemen. 
boys and girls, we are getting ready for the teams to lead out here. Uh, and I don't think I've read out the team for you. So let's do that for you very quickly. The starting 11 for Borough is unchanged, baby. It is unchanged. In the back, we have got Senny Ding and goals, obviously. Dan Balassa, Matt Clark, Latte Lath, Izzy Jones, Luke Ayling, Johnny Housen, our ever-captain today. Finis Zaz, Lewis O'Brien, Sam Greenwood, and Luke Thomas completes your starting 11 today, Borough fans. But the big news comes right here. The big news comes right here off the bench. Hayden Hackney and Rav Vandenberg are back on the bench for the Borough today. Get in! Get in! Get in! Get in! Uh, Tom Glover, obviously our backup goalkeeper. Alex Gilbert, Jike Steele, Sammy Silvera, Lucas Engel, McCabe and Finch completes the Borough lineup today. What are your predictions today, Ryan? I'm saying I'm sticking with my 4-0. I'm sticking with my 4-0. We're going we're gonna to absolutely batter them. Uh, hot take from here, uh, but I think as Borough fans, we need to stop acting like it's been a horrific season. Would we all prefer promotion, promotion? Sorry. Yes, absolutely. But top 10 with a League Cup semi-final. Yeah, I know, Bernsey, right? While being crippled by injuries that absolutely nothing but disappointing the fact we're... Oh, Bernsey. Bernsey, you, you can write my eulogy. I tell you, that was beautifully put, mate. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so proud of you. Uh, that's an actually really, really well put. Uh, it's been an all right season considering the injuries have completely agree. Uh, Thomas over Engel is honking though. I, I know, I know. I missed you last week. I know, Nigel. Long weekend. Weren't away with the family on the Monday. I do apologize to all you Borough fans out there. I'm really, really sorry. I'm really sorry. It's a long weekend and I know I wasn't here on the Monday. I was here for Friday Southampton game, but I missed Mondays and I do apologize. Love to all of you and thank you for coming back and not dishing out on me. Uh, watched out, watched the Port Adelaide game last night, right? Did you borrow a fan? Well, Port Adelaide are my arch rivals. Uh, it's like you coming in and saying, watch Sunderland the other day. Uh, get out. Uh, no Port Adelaide talk here. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen anything from Finch yet. Sonny Finch is going to be a fantastic future striker. Uh, East, don't you worry about that. And it's good to see you as well, East. Happy Easter. I hope you're well. Uh, our golden, back at, golden boy is back. Imagine Hackney. Uh, locks up on goal and Borough to turn. Uh, Riverside's going to go wild. If if Hackney comes off the bench and scores today, I'm taking my shirt off. I'm going to get demonetized on YouTube. My shirt's coming off, 100%. I'm getting nude. Uh, hopefully, lads aren't ever blown away by the winds up here. <laughs> Good to see you, Vince. Lily says, I'm going for 3-1 to the Borough and Johnny Housen will score a screamer. Oh, Lily. Jeez, you talk some absolute chocolate into my ears sometimes absolutely brilliant that's what i love to see uh we need to bring finch on this game i agree finch needs to get a finch needs to get a, a bit of a run uh especially now that it's really not looking like playoffs do you know what i mean let's 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 give mccabe and finch some game times i 100 percent agree with that where's the next bar career mode yes episode three is actually coming to you tomorrow live yes powerful yes Episode three of Borough Career Mode will be live tomorrow right here on YouTube. We're doing it live because then I don't have to edit it. <laughs> and then if you do miss it, you can just watch it back. All right, but I'm going to do it live. I'm going to do it live because what I found is that I'm running out of time to edit it, edit the videos. So I'm going to do it live and then just leave it up as a VOD. Do you know what I mean? And then you'll be able to go back and go, oh, this was episode three and just skip to your favorite parts and we'll timestamp it and stuff like that. So, but yes, it'll be live here on YouTube tomorrow night. I only watch what they put on. Yes, like Thomas and Tommy Smith are the worst two fullbacks at the club. Whoa. I don't think Tommy Smith is a bad fullback. Uh, interesting interview. Uh, oh, sorry. Is, this Ted the, is it Ted the Mackham? Ted the Mackham. Okay, Ted the Mackham. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, it might be French or something. Interesting interview on Football Focus with Munez earlier. Very complimentary about Chris Wilder. Okay, okay. But quite negative about Carrick. Even as a Mackham, I have to question the kid's sanity there. Ted... You say some crazy things, but that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Are you serious? Munez, see? Rodrigo Munez, call me. Because you've lost you've lost it, mate. You've lost your marbles. Let's go and find them together. Absolutely crazy, that. Munez, please. Ted, good luck to you as well, mate. Jack Clark. Jack Clark. I texted you, Teddy. I texted you. Jack Clark, congratulations. Good luck, mate. Good luck. Uh, I want to change my prediction, by the way. Uh, 4-1 to the bar. I reckon we'll slip up and bring in dying minutes like we always do. Love that, Lucky. Right, would you sign Greenwood permanently? <sighs> yes. Yes, I would. I think he's got a great free kick on him. He's young and he's got a bright future and he's from the area. Correct. Yes, I would. Uh, I'm feeling like a 4-2. Greenwood, Hackney, Leith, and a bit of a risky one here. Balassa. Ooh, Burnsy. Love that. Teddy Boy's in town. Teddy Boy's always in town. Don't you worry about that. Because I'm, I'm the mayor of the town and he lives here. Right, who do you want to come down to the Prem... Uh, who do you want to come up from League One for next season? I want Portsmouth to come up. I think that's interesting to see them come back from their their woes. Uh, oh, we're about to kick off. We're ready for kick off. 
Middlesbrough are going to kick off for us, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Middlesbrough are going to kick off for us. As I'm looking at the screen, Middlesbrough will be kicking to my right. Swansea will be kicking to my left. Middlesbrough are in their home kit, which is red shirt, red shorts, red socks. Swansea in their home kit, white shirts, white socks, white shorts. As I said, Middlesbrough kicking to the right, Swansea to the left. And Middlesbrough have already given it away from the kickoff. And it is in possession of the Swansea centre-backs now. Right, I need to be productive, not sit here to stress with you. Okay, East, I love you. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, I appreciate you. Good luck. Uh, right, when do you want to come? To, sorry, who did you want to come down to the Prem? Who did I want to? Well, I mean, I think I think uh, Sheffield United. Do you know what I mean? I've never liked Chris Wilder and, and you know, uh, I just ever since what he did to the bar. Do you know what I mean? So Sheffield United. I'd like to see Luton stay up. You know what I mean? And I think you've still got a lot to play out with Nottingham Forest and Everton with the financial fair play stuff as well. I don't think there's anyone I'd want to see come down apart from Sheffield United just because, and it's not actually their club. I actually love their fans and they're actually fantastic. I just really don't like Chris Wilder. Has Ted got sunstroke? Probably. He's probably by the pool drinking mojitos. Uh, right, do you want to read that? Uh, has Ted read that? Has Let's be honest here, Munis was not good enough for us last season with Archer and Akpom. Oh, exactly, Bernsey. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Teddy. I love you. Uh, I agree about Greenwood. Not sure I'd want him starting every week. We can creep. Definitely worth signing. I think he'd be great off the bench. He's still got a lot of, you know, bright future about him. I want Portsmouth, Bolton, and Derby to all get promoted. You want to prefer Derby again? I hated Derby away, man. Uh, Thomas gone. Hope gone. Uh, there's a lot There's a lot there, lucky to go. As here comes Luke Haley now down this right-hand side to Izzy Jones. Oh, my goodness. It's good to be watching the Borough again. We're one minute in, baby. And Rye is back. Score prediction, I'm going 4-0 to the Borough. I know it's crazy, but I just think we are ready to roll. Ready to roll. I just think we're at, we're so, so full of confidence at the moment. Hey, Rye, hope you're well, bud. Don't want Portsmouth to come up. It's too long of a journey. Fair enough, Stephen. Fair enough. Uh, not a facet, massive fan of the Knott's Forest manager. Uh, oh, the ex-Wolves manager? I've forgotten his name. But yes, I know who you're talking about. It's uh, Chris Wilder for me. When he lied to us fans, dead. Dead to me. Dead. To, like, good fellas. Good fellas. Dead to me. And he's just so arrogant. Like, don't eat a sandwich and... Come on, Chris. Uh, hope, right... Where else was I? Uh, no, I mean tomorrow. Saturday football is on the schedule. Oh, sorry. He's got you. Okay, no worries. Love you. All right, Nuno, that's it. Nuno, yeah, that's it. Chris Wilder really is arrogant. He really is, Gary. He really is. He really thinks he's the he's a God's gift to birth, that guy. As Swansea now have the ball just in front of the halfway line here. They are teasing it with Izzy Jones on the prowl, but they turn around and go backwards, do Swansea all the way back to their keeper and goes across to the far right-hand side as Swansea switch it up here. He does, Gary. He really does throw players under the bus. He doesn't believe in them. He doesn't give them the sense that they're you know, part of the team. And he, he's willing to throw them under the bus at a moment's notice. He really is. It's disgusting that. It really is. Swansea now mucking around with it at the back here with Nathan Wood. Remember him, Borough fans? Nathan Wood. Nathan Wood is their center back today. Jeez, what we could have done with a Nathan Wood with all our injuries this season, eh? Greenwood is a waste of a player, to be honest. His wages are too much. Okay, Winston Churchill. Well, thank you for what you did for America. Uh, first and foremost, Winston Churchill. Uh, secondly, I think he's worth it. I think he's got a great future in him. And I don't think there's a better free kick taker in um, when other than Sam Greenwood. Uh, hope leads go up because their fans are scum uh, when they come here. Yeah, it's that rivalry sort of thing, isn't it, Nigel? I guess. Um, but yeah, Leeds have like got that, you know, they got parachute. They got that Premier League sort of bounce. As Swansea now come on the attack. Here we got the striker alone in the box. And he's not being able to control it. It's the Swansea striker and it'll bounce off him. But that was a very dangerous moment for Borough. Swansea have found their striker, their number nine, alone in the box. No Borough player was absolutely near him. He wasn't able to control it, goes out, and it's a Swansea throw in. They take it quickly now as Finn Azaz comes into defense to help, but he can't control it. Swansea get back on the ball here now, far left hand side of the pitch. Come on, Borough, dig in, please. As Swansea now curl one into the box, cleared by that big bald eagle of Matt Clark. Jeez, that's a shiny head, and that's a head that I'd rub for good luck any day of the week. Get in, Matt Clark. Cleared off the defensive lines. Borough now in possession through Luke Haley. Portsmouth a 1-0 up. Thank you, Rav. Against two? Uh, I, yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I'm quite disappointed I never managed to get a ticket for this game, especially since it's nice weather. Oh, Lily. It does look like there's a few... There's a, it does look like there's a, there's a fair few seats available, but it looks a beautiful afternoon at the Riverside. Yep. The eagle has landed. See that head? Oh, beautiful. Swansea now. 
pressuring Johnny House in his center back roles here as he goes across to that big bald eagle in Matt Clark. Right, I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep you up to date as best as I can with the games around the championship as well. There are some other games happening here this afternoon. And as I said, I will give you as much as I can up to date with all everything going on this afternoon across the English Premier League and the Championship. Fair few games in the Premier League, actually. <laughs> So, uh, Middlesbrough now with the ball going back to Johnny Housen as I try and bring up my scores page. Here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. All right, we have got the scores in front of us now. We should be good. Rebecca Welch is our referee today, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Rebecca Welch, the first female Premier League referee from a couple of weeks ago. She is our referee today. Uh, Rotherham got relegated. They certainly did, yeah. Yeah, that was confirmed last night uh, after losing to Birmingham. Who did Rotherham lose to? I can't remember. They lost 1-0, though, and they got relegated, yeah. And then we got the Norwich score. Winston Churchill, you ready? It is was 1-0 to Norwich, which obviously makes it very hard for the Borough. Uh, Norwich have beaten Ipswich Town in the earlier kickoff 1-0 there. So not good for us. Hello, Sam. How are you, legend? Good to see you, brother. Uh, got one for Leeds. So it might be the last two looking at the decks. Uh, playoffs could be three points away. Are you planning to come over all the next season? Yeah. So uh, my plan, Gary, was to come over at the end of this season to see Cardiff Watford. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen now. I think I'm going to be there now for the start of next season. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm, start I'm The plan to be there for the, the first... Two or three games as Latte Lath gets a great ball up. Latte Lath now into the box. God, he's fast. He has a shot. Saved. And he goes a quarter. It's a quarter. Oh, my God, referee. Latte Lath has had a brilliant sort of counterattack running down the left-hand side here. He's done a fizzer of the shot, the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper palms it out, then picks it up. And the ref says, play on when it should have been a quarter. Come on. That's disgusting, that. Come on. But yeah, hoping to be there in the start of next season, Gary, to answer your question there. Darlington is 1-0 as well. As Swansea now come down this left, that should be in the quarter of the borough. That is ridiculous, that. That is absolutely ridiculous, that. Absolutely ridiculous, that. That went a good yard past the keeper, that, by the way. Right, here comes Middlesbrough again through Finnezaz now through the center of the park. They play a great ball out to Izzy Jones on the right. Burrow on a great counter here. Izzy Jones, far right hand side of the pitch. He walks it up now. Passes into Finnezaz. There's a shot. Blocked. That's a corner. Hey, that's a corner. It's a Burrow corner. Seven minutes, eight minutes gone now. And then finally, Burrow get that, that corner back that they should have had just before. How many Burrow shirts do you have right? I counted them. It's something like 47. Lily, I think it's 47, somewhere around there. Yeah, 47. Borough corner now to be taken by Sam Greenwood, right-hand side of the pitch. Come on, Borough. Sam Greenwood. Come on. Look at the wind here, by the way. The wind is splustering through as Sam Green puts his hand in the air. He puts it into the box. Goes absolutely over everyone. The wind has just taken that ball and flown it out to the other side of the pitch. As Luke Thomas tries to get to it, he's fouled by Ron Ronald. And it looks like it'll be a free kick. It is a free kick here for Borough, won by Luke Thomas, as Ronald has barged Luke Thomas over. Better team so far, 100% Borough. Yep. So many games there threw away points. Like Rutherford and Plymouth away, games we've managed to pick up. Yeah, I agree, Winston. I agree. Yeah, we've, we've definitely had games where we should have taken more points than, the, than zero, for sure. Uh, and, you know, that's the tale of our season, isn't it? We've had injuries. We've had games we should have won that we lost. And, you know... It is what it is. You know what I mean? At the end of the and at the end of the season, you are where you are because of what's happened. And the story of our season is the injuries we've had. Do you know what I mean? Sam Greenwood now on the free kick just in front of the corner flag. I it is blowing a gale at the riverside. By the way, this ball is absolutely moving through the air. Sam Greenwood whips it in, goes over absolutely everyone. Way way over hit by Sam Greenwood. That's ended up in row Z seat twenty three D. You are the winner of that ball. Almost closer to Australia than it was the Swansea goal. That ball. As we see Latte last effort here again. I mean, it's out by a mile. 
It should have been a corn. I can't believe it. How was your Easter? It was great. Thank you so much, Lee. Really, really, really good. Uh, had a good time with family. Uh, ate too much chocolate and now paying for it as I try and work it back off. I guess victim of our own success with losing Rogers too. Yeah, Gary. But Finazaz has been a great signing. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people are like, oh, what about Rogers? Well, what about Finazaz? Do you know what I mean? Finazaz is going to, is, I think, a bit of an exciting player for the future. Do you know what I mean? So I think I think it's exciting to see Finazaz come in. Latte Lathanak Pom. Oh, Alfie. Please. I was just talking about getting off the chocolates, not on them. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, I think Finazaz is going to be exciting. Do you know what I mean? And look, Rogers wanted to go. At the end of the day, we got a really good deal for him. Now we got Finazaz. You know what I mean? A young, absolutely starling talent. So let's go. Swansea now. Throw in. Far right hand side as Rebecca Welch telling him to get back and throw it in from his proper area. 10 minutes gone here. Are you still doing these kickboxing lessons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, just watching near Latte Lath get the ball back from the Swansea man. As Latte Lath, great, great ball. Oh my God, here comes Barra. Sam Greenwood now into the box over Izzy Jones's head. Great chance from the Barra. It is flown out to the other corner. Swansea pick up. Yes, sorry, uh, East. I'm doing jujitsu still uh, once a week. Yeah. It's very modified because of my injuries, East. But yeah, still loving it and doing it once a week. Absolutely love it. Uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it hurts to see Rogers not say as much as he did with us. Bags of potential just like Adama. Yeah, I know. Lucky. You guys are going to play Ajax in a club friendly? Are we? There you go. I didn't know we were lining up that one. I didn't know we were lining up that one. Right. Scores around the grounds at the moment. There is nothing to report, literally. Nothing to report at the moment. Uh, Premier League at the moment is nil all there. Championship is nil all there. It looks like Coventry might have scored. Let's go and check that, though, before I confirm. Ooh, free kick to Borough there. Dangerous, dangerous ball there, though. Yep, still no nil all across uh, every game this afternoon. Commentary have got one another up at Leeds, though, have they? Okay, interesting. We'll wait for that to come through. Afternoon to you, Digi, as well. Thoughts on Norwich win versus Ipswich? Yeah, tough for Borough, boo. Very, very tough for the Borough, that one. That's a, not the result we wanted. We really wanted Ipswich to bury Norwich to give us any chance. But it means Norwich's gap between, you know, us and that sixth spot really, really does hurt. It really does. So, yeah. Unfortunately, not a good, uh, not a good result in Borough terms. But is what it is. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. It is uh, Elias, it's Ellis Sims. Sign him into FIFA career. I'll have to have a look at him. I'll have to have a look at him. But he was a Mackham for a little bit there. All right. Swansea now on the ball. Far right-hand side of the pitch. 12 minutes 30 gone. Here they come. Swansea now. To the right-hand side. Chipped into the box. Oh, hits their striker on the noggin. But it goes well over the goal. Great chance by Swansea, though. They're coming into the right-hand side here. He then flicks it in. Yates gets it up and hires to it. And gets his noggin to it, but he can't direct the header. And it flies out well left of Seti Dieng's goal. It's a goal kick to the Borough. But another good chance for Swansea there. Borough starting to live a little bit dangerously. Right, Borough free, a goal kick. Taken quickly, trying to find Latte Last, but they can't. It goes over Latte Last's head and falls straightly to Swansea, who will run it out from the back line here. They turn around and, though, and go backwards. As Swansea look for the perfect pass out of their defense. Borough pressuring very, very well. Playing a very high press of the Borough. And they force Borough, uh, sorry, they force Swansea back to their goalkeeper now. Who boots it as hard as he can. And Matt Clark will be in chase of it. And he heads it back to Senny Diang. Well done, Matt Clark. 14 minutes gone. Swansea trying to get around the Borough, but Borough being the better team so far, especially with their... They're hard pressing. Hello, Badger. Our whole left side alone players uh, who will not be here next season. Thomas, O'Brien, and um, here comes Sam Greenwood. Uh, Luke Ayling now on the ball. Out to Izzy Jones now on the right-hand side. Izzy Jones into the box. Goes over everyone. The crosses are really poor today. They're not They're not a jud They're not a judging. The, the Borough players aren't a judging for this wind that has kept flying through Riverside. I'm telling you right now. The absolute... Wind gushing through this right-hand side of the pitch going over that side is floating the ball out so crazily. It, it really is. It, they're going to have to adjust for the wind quite uh, quite prominently here. Uh, Matt Clark is the defender of the season for me for Middlesbrough. What about um, Rav Vandenberg? 
19 years old. I think he's your bald eagle. Is he, Steph? Can we share him? Can we do like I have every second weekend or something, Steph? I feel like Rav Vandenberg's been an absolute star for us this season. Incredible. Swansea now, up the left-hand side. Back to the center of the pitch now. How's Yusuf, by the way? How's Yusuf, my boy Yusuf? We've had a chat to him here on the uh, on this YouTube channel. We're also going to get him on the red, and also I'm going to have another chat with him on YouTube. He's a good friend of mine. He got nominated supporter of the season. Get in, Yusuf. I love you. I'm so proud of you, bud. I'm so proud of you. Absolutely amazing to be nominated for that. So Yusuf nominated as one of three supporters of the season in the EFL. Congratulations, Yusuf. Clark hasn't played the most of the season, and Rav has. The wind is crazy. I can hardly hear the stream over it. It's that bad. Here comes Byron now on a counter. Oh, my God. Finna Zaz now into the box. He's going to shoot. Oh, Finna Zazzy, Azzy, Azzy, Azzy. Oh, Azzy, 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 Azzy. Oh, I has missed the goal to the right-hand side. He's got a great ball in from Latte left. He lets it roll past him. He then tries to fizz one into the top right-hand corner, but he hasn't directed it far enough, and it flies out for a goal kick. But Burra, looking dangerous, baby. Absolute legend, Yusuf. In fact, in fact, incredible, incredible achievement, that. Imagine a back three of Lenahan, Clark, and Rev Vandenberg. Oh, 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 God. That's naughty, that. That's naughty, that. Swansea now, playing it around at the back as we see Michael Carrick for the first time. He's in a gray cardigan today. It's not even a cardigan. It's like a, it's a, it's a sweater. It's not a cardigan. It's a gray sweater. Michael Carrick looking absolutely fantastic in his gray sweater. In fact, his opposite number is probably dressed exactly like Michael Carrick is. It's just different colors. Right, Burrow now. Oh, as Luke Thomas gets on the ball, he's pushed over. Free kick to the Burrow here. 17 minutes gone. I, can, I say keep fry. I, I keep fry. He's the lighthouse. One of our own. One of our own. Right, Luke Thomas now on the ball. 17 minutes gone. He chips one up to look to the run of Sam Greenwood. He can't bring it down. Ball bounces into the safe hands of the Swansea keeper. Threat averted. 17 minutes gone. Self Ryan gets some money for him. How much would you get for Fry though? He hasn't played much this season. Do you know what I mean? What would, what arguably, what would you get for Dale Fry? I still think that back five of Bangura, Clark, Rav, Lenahan, and Jones is saucy. And yes, Alex over Lucas. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I, you know, I think, I honestly think, I honestly think Luke Ayling is going to, um, I think Luke Ayling is going to be the one they chase. I think Luke Ayling has been fantastic in this right back role. And I think the borough will, will definitely inquire with him in the summer for sure. Why is Bangura not on the bench? The man tore his hamstring. Do you know what I mean? Like he's, he's, I know he's back in training and all that sort of stuff, but you got to be, Bangura's like, ham, you don't muck around with hamstrings. Do you know what I mean? You haven't missed anything, Simon. Uh, as, oh, God, here comes Simon. Here comes Swansea now. Swansea into the box. Blocked by Matt Clark. Out for a corner. Oh, Simon, you're like a bad luck charm, mate. Swansea have a great chance coming down this right-hand side wing. He gets past Luke Thomas with ease, my dad. Uh, and then swips it in, looking for the run of Yates, but he can't find him. Matt Clark puts it out. Corner to Swansea. 18 minutes gone. Huh! Right, Swansea. Corner. Come on, Burrow. Defend with all your life. 18.30. Swansea into the box. Cleared by Matt Clark's big bald head. <laughs> Burrow. Swansea now. Get back on the ball. Halfway line. Would you give Housen another year? I'd give Housen another eight years. I'd sign Housen until he's 50. I absolutely think Johnny Housen is fantastic. I'd give him whatever he wants. If Johnny Housen says, I want five-year deal and a Lamborghini, I'd write that check right now. Luke Thomas is so bad, he did let that but he let that ball roll past him pretty easily, unfortunately. Yep, he, they, uh, the Swansea leg got round him down that right-hand side. Johnny Housen now on the ball. Is there anywhere Johnny Housen can't play? He's playing centre-back right now, by the way. Put Johnny Housen up front, I say. Matt Clark now, absolutely bullying the striker of Swansea. He's tricking him. He turns once, he turns right. He then plays a long ball looking for Latte Lath. Swansea get in the way and clear it, though, and it's uh, throw in here. For the borough, 19 minutes gone. I forgot to get a bottle of water. This is where I need a, I need a, a personal assistance for a bottle of water. Right, Swansea now. 
get on a bad pass from the borough and they'll bring it out from the back line here. Swansea up to the halfway line, chasing down this left-hand side of Swansea. But they don't like what they see, so they turn around and start going backwards. He is anonymous, 100%. Matt Clark is ne the next role, Dinio. Go on, yep. I need one of those hats with straws. Yes! Gary, yes. Imagine a couple of... Oh, yes. As Swansea now have another chance down this right-hand side. They get the ball over. Luke Thomas! Cleared by Johnny Housen. No, it was Bar Lassa, was it? It's Housen. It's Housen. Oh, he's offside. Oh, my God, he's offside. He's offside. He's offside. He's offside. Ronald has beaten Luke Thomas down the right-hand side again. He's put a great cross in to try and find Yates. Johnny Housen has headed this ball away fantastically, but it is a judged offside. But Borough having some early worrying signs down this right-hand side. Ronald is absolutely playing Luke Thomas off this park. That is not good. That is, that's scary. As I eat a lolly snake to keep me energy up. Do you think Housen will sign for another season? Yep, easily. Swansea player on the ground, by the way. Is it Simon? It's Timon. It's Timon and Pumba. Timon is on the ground. Timon is on the ground. He needs treatment. The Lion King are out there to rescue Timon. Oh, he's in big trouble. Timon is grabbing his left knee. What happened there? Oh, his leg buckled. He needs some treatment here, does Timon. Who cares what the time is? Talk Thomas and on an angle. Talk Thomas out and angle on. Yeah. Pool's got one nil up. Let's go harder pool. It's pronounced time, is it? I'm sorry, it's spelt Timon. It's T Y M O N. That's Timon. From now on, that Swansea player's name, Timon. As uh, each team's go to their coaches now for a drink. Timon is on the ground needing treatment. Looks like Swansea are going to have to make a substitution here. How many players will leave in the summer? Greenwood, Thomas, O'Brien, Jikes Hill, Balassa, House and Tuol, McNair, Hackney, VDB sold another 10 players in the summer. Well, Badger, the idea was that they didn't have to do that again. Do you know what I mean? The idea was that the recruitment we did last season where we saw 13 players come in, that this summer we wouldn't need to do such an overhaul. So I'd argue Borough aren't looking to sign that many, but if players leave, then you're going to have to react to that, aren't you? Hello, it's Chris. G'day, Chris. How are you, imagine? I'm back. It's Johnny Housen in central defense again. He is Chris. Yep. Yep. I hope we keep a Bryant. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I think he was correcting his own message. Oh, was he? My bad, Gary. Timon is still on the ground here, by the way. Oh, he's hobbling off. Oh, it looks like Timon's going to be able to continue after popping some Panadol here. Swansea down to 10 men. Here comes the Borough now. Timon's still off the pitch. Izzy Jones now on the ball down the right-hand side near the corner flag. Terenza goes backwards to Luke Ayling. Bill. Bill out to Izzy. Izzy now. Over the ball. What can he do? Cook something for me, boy. He's got two Swansea players for comfort, so he goes back to Bill. Bill then almost goes to fake the cross in, goes back to Izzy. They're mucking around with it here on this right-hand side as Izzy boots it in, finally. Blocked by Swansea. Borough throw in, 23 minutes gone. Play Johnny and goalkeeper you still be class. You're not wrong, Steph. You're not wrong. Good afternoon, Ryan. G'day, Ben. Been a while since I can catch stream because of work, but I hope you and the family are well. Thank you, Ben, and thank you for tuning in. I hope you have been well also, mate. Everything is fantastic here, bud. Uh, my family and I are doing very well. Gary, if Brian is 9.5 million, how can we keep him? I mean, if Nottingham Forest value him at that, then yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's exactly right. 100% Dave. 100% Dave. We got to keep House in next season. I'd give I'd give House in a five-year contract and a Lamborghini. 100%. As Middlesbrough puck, muck around with it now, just outside of the box. Left-hand side to Luke Thomas. He tries to pass it in to the run of Sam Greenwood, but can't find him. Blocked by Swansea. Swansea now on the ball, and now we'll let it roll out. Does it bounce off Luke Thomas? Luke Thomas gave the ball away again. Unfortunately, down this left-hand side, Swansea will have a throw in. 24 minutes gone. Thomas not having a good start to this game. Thomas is not having a good start to this game, unfortunately. I think that's why I decided to see the price tag. Agreed, Gary. I think we need to sign a new cam. It depends who leaves. Do you know what I mean? It depends who leaves anonymous. But don't forget, Riley McGree, uh, Finazaz, Sam Greenwood. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's happening with all them? 
um, you know, a fit Borough squad, you've kind of got a lot of depth in that area. But, you know, we'll see. Is Fry still injured? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, tough nil. I think Fry's out for the rest of the season, mate. Hit the like button. Okay, I will. How do I do that again? Uh, YouTube, thumbs up. Done. I did it, Chris. Thanks, mate. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sneezing. <coughs> I'm all good. Sneezes are gone. Hello, Lucky. As long as we're more consistent next season, I agree with Carrick on whatever decision he makes with players uh, and the futures of the current three. That midfield is good enough for us to win. I love that, Lucky. And agreed. Carrick is the best. Carrick is best. Oh, my God. Here comes Barra in the box. Barra now in the box. James! Oh! Greenwood keeps it in. Does really well. Great play from the Barra. They come in from the left-hand side. They find Izzy Jones alone in the box. He then does one step, two step, gets onto his left, and he tries to flick it into the top left-hand corner, but he can't find it. It sails past the post. It's a goal kick to Swansea. Another chance goes begging. Have you ever interviewed Craig Johnson? Burrow, we're head of the Kurd uh, in talent uh, of the Antipodian talent ever there. No, I haven't. No, no, I've never had the chance to. Simon is Swansea now into the box. Swansea! What? Oh, my goodness. Ronald again down this right-hand side for Swansea. Oh, wee! Luke Thomas is left for dead again. Ronald is killing us down this right-hand side. Yates puts in a great ball. Ronald is two yards in front of Thomas. He then runs in, and Housen slides in to block the shot. And it goes out for a goal kick. Ref hasn't seen it come off Housen, so it's a goal kick to Seni Dieng. But Burrow living dangerously down this right-hand. My goodness. My goodness me. Fry is on holiday. He isn't ever fit, Fry. He's, he's, yeah. Oh, another, is it Timon on the ground again? Timon's on the ground again. Timon is on the ground again. Timon's on the ground. Get it off. No, Burrow playing on. Burrow playing on with a Timon on the ground. And it goes out for a corner. It'll go out for a corner and Timon's going to have to come off here. Timon is coming off here. Burrow with a corner. Timon has been down on that pitch for a good five minutes. He can't continue here. Get Thomas off. Ronald is killing him down that right-hand side. He really is. It's scary how much uh, damage he's doing down that right-hand side. It really is, yeah. Clark's the best ever defensive signing we've ever made. I, not, not, not a bad shout. Clark's fantastic. Yeah, Timon's going to be substituted here. Yeah, I think so, Gary. It has to be, right? Otherwise, you start Engel. Engel's our player. Do you know what I mean? Engel's our player. Signed on what? Two, three-year deal? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... It's just, like... It doesn't make sense. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Get Engel on. I mean, I would. I would. Yep, I would. Timon's coming off here, by the way. Timon is coming off. Swansea substitution. We needed Akpom. I mean, he's, you know, he's done all right at, at, a, uh, at Ajax. You know what I mean? In my opinion, uh, so in my honest opinion, the summer priority, we need a left winger because we're so unbalanced on the left. A replacement to Housen as he cannot play every week and a striker or two if we do not lose our best players. Hmm, good shout, good shout. West Brom have got one nil up. Thank you, Digi. Swansea substitution, by the way. Timon off. Timon off. And Abdullah is on. Abdullah is on for Swansea. Abdullah is on for Swansea. Right, scores around the championship as a, after this Borough corner. Sam Greenwood, hand in the air. Borough corner, right hand side, whips it in. Oh, Clark! Oh, wide, 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 wide. The Sam Greenwood corner has hit the noggin of the big, beautiful, bald eagle of Matt Clark, and he heads it, and it bounces wide, unfortunately. It's a Swansea goal kick, threat averted. Right, goals across the championship. There's no, not many goals to talk about. There are two, though. Commentary are leading Leeds 1-0, and West Brom are leading Stoke 1-0. In the Premier League, it is still nil all across the board. But in the earlier game there, Crystal Palace lost to Man City 4-2.
which was in the rolling game there. Crystal Palace scoring first. And then the earlier kickoff for the championship in a game that Middlesbrough really, really needed Ipswich to win. It hasn't happened. Norwich have beaten Ipswich 1-0 there, which absolutely makes the playoffs even further apart from the Borough. But we control what we can control. Uh, are they? Do they make the Craig Johnson boots still? I don't know, John, actually. Uh, Leicester are 1-0 up. Thank you, Rav. How is Thomas playing? He's been not too good down this right-hand side. Uh, Marcus and Latte is our striker. McGree and Jonesy are our wingers, but backup is needed. I completely agree. Whoa! Swansea players taking his shirt off. It's Nathan Wood! Wow! Don't know what happened there, but Thomas tried to... Sorry. Nathan Wood tried to get around Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones kind of grabs him and pulls his shirt off. Hello. Jeez. So Nathan Wood going shirtless here at the Riverside. Stealing my thing. Might have to sue him for copyright. Uh, what AFL team do you support? Sadly, the Adelaide Crows, Gary, right? Sadly, the Adelaide Crows. Yes, I know. Pain. I don't know why I choose football teams that break my heart. It's just something that I do. As Nathan Wood tries to get across from Latte Lath, Latte Lath chips him, and it's a free kick to Swansea here. 30 minutes gone. Back to the goalkeeper. Swansea now moving around. I would say Middlesbrough have had the better chances already. Do you know what I mean? Middlesbrough have had the better chances already uh, in the first 30 minutes, but it's been a strange game. Obviously, the injury for Swansea having to change. It's been a little bit back and forth. Swansea have had some good chances down that right-hand side as well, but Borough have had two good chances to Izzy Jones and Finazaz that we've kind of wasted there as well. It's a just, it is, Gary. You're not wrong. When they're getting the new old Borough badge next season? No, 2027, lucky. 2027 in our 150th year it'll be a new logo or club crest which i'm looking forward to it's going to be exciting lewis o'brien with a brilliant tackle on the swansea breakaway down the right hand side looks like lewis o'brien has been deployed more into this left hand side midfield by the way to help thomas that's exactly what o'brien's doing he's coming in now to a bit of more cover for thomas oh no house has gone down bad oh house has gone down bad is he okay? Oh, he's okay. He's okay. He's okay. He's okay. That looked ugly. Sorry. Sorry, Barry Francisco. That looked ugly. Lowe has caught Johnny Housen by the knee. Lowe comes over to apologize. And Johnny Housen fixes his boot up. He's okay. It just looked like a bit of an ugly fall, but he's all right. He's back moving. It looks like Lowe's just caught him on the ankle by the looks of that. Oh, my goodness me. My heart in my mouth there. It all goes to Luke Ailing. Bill. Bill with the bun. Great ball through to Latte. Oh, it's too far ahead. Goes all the way through to the Swansea keeper. Looking for that uh, offside trap, though, other borough with the speed of Latte Lath. Wolves are 1 0 up. Thank you, Rev. As Swansea now. Abdullah coming down this left hand side. He trips over, though. As he was running down this left hand side, Abdullah, the replacement for Timon, trips over. But Swansea get back on the ball quickly. And Balassa comes in to step in and block the ball, moving anywhere forward. It's a throw in now to Swansea in front of the halfway line. 33 minutes gone. Hull have gone 1 0 up. Goals are starting to fly in. Hull leading Cardiff City 1 0 as well. There you go. Goals are starting to fly in across the afternoon. Just checking the Sunderland score. That's still 0 0. Are there any shots on target yet? 33 minutes gone. Two. Two, but I will get you the accurate stats. Yep, so it is... Oh, so it's four now. So it's 50% possession apiece, stats for this Middlesbrough game. Uh, the shots have been four shots uh, to... Sorry, four shots to Middlesbrough. Swansea have had two shots. One shot of the four for Middlesbrough have been on target. No shots on target from Swansea. Uh, and three fouls committed by Middlesbrough to six fouls committed by Swansea. That is your stats. Nathan Wood now goes all the way back to the Swansea keeper. And Richter's, if we uh, win, we're seventh place. I know, Freddie, but it, but Norwich won earlier. Did you see? That's the hardest thing. Uh, the Evening Gazette referred to the current badge as controversial. First day I've heard of it. Another slow news day at the Gazette. Maybe, John. I didn't think it was controversial. I didn't know there's any story behind this badge. I thought this badge was fantastic. I, I'm, I'm excited that there's a change for and to commemorate 150 years. Do you know what I mean? But... You know what I mean? We need to win. Of course we need to win. We need to win as many games as we can. Is it realistic that we will? Maybe, maybe not. 
But of course, Middlesbrough, all they can control is the games that you know are put in front of us. And right now, we've got to beat Swansea. As we see Balassa now on the ball. Out to Johnny Housen. Out wider to Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones back to Johnny Housen. Johnny Housen boots it up as hard as he can, finding Finazaz. Finazaz to Latte Lath. Finazaz back on the ball. Sam Greenwood now. Out for the run of Luke Thomas. Can't control it, though. He hasn't got the speed to keep up with it. Does Luke Thomas. The ball rolls out. Swansea throw in. 35 minutes gone. Swansea now throw it in and go backwards. We have a tough run now. Uswich and Leeds. Yeah, I know, Steph. I know. And Hull. Hull or no mugs either. It's Leeds, Ipswich, and Hull. It's a very tough three games now. Yeah. But again, focus on this game. You know? Oh, Luke Thomas then gives the ball away. No, it's all good. It was a great ball in looking for the run of Ronald. Luke Thomas was there to the ball first, but he can't control it. Can Luke Thomas? And he kind of made a bit of a mess of it, but then thankfully it rolls past him and goes out for a Senny Dien goal kick. We love the better team, so that's true. I don't know why we changed the badge 150 years of history. They don't change Coca-Cola bottles. Maybe they should. <laughs> it's people like Rotherham that we struggle against. Yeah. Yeah, those teams seem to dig in as Lewis O'Brien gets a bad tackle middle of the pitch. There's a lot of there's a lot of rubbish on the ground today, by the way. I don't know what it is. It's probably because of the wind, by the way. Because it's so blustery down at the riverside, there's rubbish bags and plastic and cups and a lot of junk on the field today. I hope no one trips up in it, but there's a lot of rubbish on the Riverside pitch today. Right, here comes Middlesbrough now. Finazaz down this right-hand side finds Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones now the ball goes backwards to Bill. Bill whips it in, looking for Latte. Latte header, wide. Goal kick, Swansea. Great build up there by Burrow. It's whipped, whipped in by Luke Ayling, far right-hand side. Finds the head of Latte Lath. He can't direct the head on goal, though. And it goes off his head behind him for a goal kick. Oh, I'm 19 if I can apply for Middlesbrough. Yeah, but I don't think, like, to play for them. I don't think they judge you by age, unfortunately, Freddie. I think it's more like the whole being good at football thing. But look, go, by, by all means, Freddie, apply for Middlesbrough. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I think by just saying I'm 19, that doesn't mean like they'll go, wow, he's 19, let's get him in. Do you know what I mean? I think there's some football talent you know, questions in there. Maybe I, I could be wrong. Uh, we are class about good teams, but terrible about bad teams. Evidence is that Rotherham actually had good results against us. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're not wrong. I was just at the Riverside that there's, uh, that the, I was, it's just at the Riverside that there's lots of rubbish. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mark. Cheers. Up the borough. Swansea now, Abdullah down the left-hand side. Here comes Swansea now, cutting through the midfield. They'll go out to the right-hand side now to Ronald. Come on, into the box! Blocked by Luke Thomas, corner to Swansea. Uh, Freddie now says that I'm 21 then I applied for Burrow. When you, two minutes ago, you were 19, Freddie. What's going on? Did you just have a birthday? Happy birthday. Uh, I've just tuned in. Have I missed anything? Nothing, Mick, at the moment. Nothing, Mick. Uh, we've had a good couple of chances, but so have Swansea. Swansea are finding some good threat down the right-hand side uh, against Luke Thomas, unfortunately. Yeah. But here, you're right, tuning in right now as a Swansea take a corner. They whip it into the box, cleared by Balassa. Oh, my goodness. Swansea now, on the ball. Into the box, cleared. Don't crush the guy's dreams. Go for it. I say, I, I agree, John. If he wants to apply for Middlesbrough, you go and apply. Swansea now, get it in the box. Yeah, Tate's offside. Oh my goodness me. Middlesbrough were living dangerously. There was a fizzer of a shot that came in, blocked by Matt Clark. The ball falls to Yates, who is in a dangerous position. There's Yusuf. I see Yusuf. Yusuf. Hello, son. Kevin Phillips was a late starter for Luton, then Sunderland. I saw Yusuf. Far right-hand side of the pitch. Uh, here comes Burrow now. Down the right-hand side. Izzy Jones. Cleared by Swansea. Throw in for the Burrow. 40 minutes gone. Last five minutes of the half. Bill now. Throws it in. Finn is as. Back to Latte. Back to Finn. Finn looking for a great ball to Latte. Latte, Latte, Latte. Cuts in. Shoots. Whoa, on, son. 
It's a great fizzer of a shot from Latte Last, but the keeper's all over it. He takes it in front of his face. And it'll be a goal kick here, 40 minutes gone, Swansea. But another great build up there by Latte Last and Finn. Yusuf got fan of the season. I know he got nominated for it, Mick, didn't he? It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic to see. Nominated for fan or supporter of the season in the EFL. It's fantastic, that. Right. Ball with Nathan Wood now. Swansea now down the right-hand side. Last five minutes of the half. I'm 63. Can I play for the borough? Get in, Nigel. Get in. You can play center back. You and Johnny Housen, mate. <laughs> As we look at that uh, replay now of the latte last shot. God, it was good. He cuts in really quickly, but the keeper read him like a book. He was watching him all the way. Great ball up, uh, build up though by the borough. Cuts back in. Sends Nathan Wood the wrong way. Puts a fizz of a shot in. Saved by the keeper. Right. Borough now. Giving it away to Swansea in the center of the pitch. And here comes Swansea now down the right-hand side again. They whip it in already. Bad cross. Very, very bad cross from Swansea. It's floated all the way over to the other side of the pitch. I think it's either a throw in. No, it's a goal kick. It's just hit the corner flag. So it's a goal kick to Seni Dieng here. Four minutes left. <laughs> Class that cactus. I think Freddy throws his pass away when he boarded the dinghy. <laughs> if Freddy doesn't apply quick, he'll be Housen's age in a few weeks at this rate. You're not wrong, Job. You're not wrong. <laughs> Happy 23rd birthday to Freddy. <laughs> Happy 23rd birthday. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, Freddy is Yakubu's young brother. Uh, serious, did you? Are you being serious? All right. Swansea now. I'm passing around at the back. Yeah, well, if Norwich won, then it's all over for the borough. It is a tough, tough ask, Chris, unfortunately, with Norwich beating Ipswich. Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. It's a tough, tough ask. It's a tough ask considering that Norwich won. Yeah. Right. Swansea now working it out from the back. Borough now get on the ball from a great counter through. Our passing starting to get poor again. We need a bit more composure in the Swansea half. Green Badger. As just as you say that, Balassi gives it away to Swansea in a dangerous spot. Swansea are now on the ball in a dangerous spot, but Sam Greenwood comes in to help. But Balassi has given away a poor, poor ball there. Finazaz is then tackled, tackled on the ball. I apologize. And it is a free kick to the borough just in front of the halfway line here. But borough starting to live a little bit more dangerously with their passing, as you just heard from the YouTube chat. Three minutes left of normal time here. As Middlesbrough take that free kick out to Johnny House and it goes wider to Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones gets the ball over Nathan Wood, though. It's going to come on, corner. Oh, my goodness me. This wind is playing havoc. The, Izzy Jones has flicked it over a sliding Swansea player then tried to get on it but unfortunately the wind just took the ball and just skidded it out and Izzy Jones couldn't catch it and it's a goal kick to Swansea god this wind probs another season of the championship I think championship is better than the Premier I actually agree with you Steph to be honest with you I think I th honestly think the championship's more exciting I'm not even lying come on Izzaz give us a worldie love that badge Swansea now down the right hand side here comes Swansea now through the center of the park. What can Swansea do here? Uh, blocked by Matt Clark. The big bald eagle. But falls straight back to Swansea. Now they're down this left-hand side. Swansea then. Patterson whips it in. Cleared by Luke Thomas. Luke Thomas gets onto it and clears it. Sam Greenwood then tries to boot it clear. But he boots it high rather than far. And Finnezaz gets on the corner of the goal. But Swansea get back on it here. They're coming back at the goals. Blocked by Lewis O'Brien. He boots it clear. And Swansea will set up again through their center back, Nathan Wood, the ex-Borough man. I think we'd have a rough season in the Prem. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'd rather see us compete in the championship at the moment than get battered every week in the Prem. Do you know what I mean? You really want to steamroll the championship to have any chances. Swansea now whip it in. Dangerously cleared by Luke Thomas. Well done, Luke Thomas. Luke Thomas, jeez. I had a curry off the pub last night. 
And I'm having trouble with wind too. <laughs> Good. Thank you for sharing, Stephen. <laughs> right. Middlesbrough now. Back on defense here. I think we've done pretty well against Prem opposition lately. I mean, you can see that we step up for it. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'd rather see us get battered in the Prem. Okay. Middlesbrough now. Working it through the midfield. That's what's caused the local wins. Yeah, it's Stephen. Right, out of time. Five minutes out of time. Five minutes out of time. Where's he pulled that from? Five minutes of out of time here. Right. Yeah, you're not wrong, Lucky. How Burnley dominated the championship and then, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like watching stroke. Yeah, it's not good. Easy Jones! Oh, my goodness. Latte left down on the ball in the box. What can Latte do? Shoot! It's a goal! Latte! Yeah! Latte, baby! Middlesbrough one! Swansea nil! He does the goggles! I see you, Latte! And I love you! If switch! What did I say, if switch? I didn't mean to say that! Well done, Latte! Great finish! Woo! Borough one, Swansea nil! Get in! Get in. So it's a, a shot from Izzy Jones, right? That was blocked by the keeper. Falls back into the path of Latte Lath. He then takes the ball, turns around, runs back in a bit of a 180, then shoots with his left, left foot, hits the post, and smacks in off the post, and it's 1-0. Get in. Oh my God, we're going to go again here from the restart. Oh, Nathan Wood saves the last minute tackle on Finazaz. Burrow pushing hard. Free kick, Swansea. Oh my goodness me. Latte, baby. Wake the neighbors. Hashtag wake the neighbors, baby. Birmingham won all. Thank you. Uh, I went to the match at the Riverside many years ago against Birmingham. That was a very windy day too, but we made the game very interesting. Burrow scored five that day. Darren, speaking my language. Latte, Latte already on the board here. As Swansea now have a great chance down this right-hand side. Swansea now. Ronald. Finds the bald eagle of Matt Clark, though, and can't get past him. So he turns around and goes backwards. Ronald tries to do his tricks. Matt Clark says, get that out of here. Throw in Swansea. Latte, baby. Latte, latte, latte. I'm off onto the balcony uh, to tie everything down at halftime. It's getting worse. Get in, latte. We have our strikers, a striker after all. Not wrong, John. It is very windy. Yeah, you're not wrong. Do you think we'll have another season with Johnny House? And yes, Lily, 100%. I think we do. Latte, lath, baby. Latte, lath. Latte, lath. Oh, here comes Swansea. Oh, my God. Swansea try and put a cross into the box. It is awful. As I said, it's gone closer to Australia than it has anywhere near a striker in that center of the box. And Burrow will have a goal kick here. Oh, if we get Latte last fit, we've got a 20-goal striker. Easy. He's a poacher, mate. Latte last is our striker. Keep him fit. Oh. Right, Bara. Thank you, Gary. I think Ellie's pub's showing right now. The club didn't want to bite on any random striker. Yep. Yep. Yep, I agree. Cactus, I agree with that. Halftime scores, right? Yep, I'll give them to you very soon. Give them to you very soon. Can I just imagine Akpon behind Latte Lath? Yeah. We need to keep the one nil lead. Go check on the neighbors, right? Nah, they're all awake. Latte's a goat. Latte's a goat. Yeah. Hull are 2 and up. Thank you. 10 p.m. and 31 degrees here. It was mid-40s last week. That's nasty. Ooh, that is nasty, Badger. As Swansea now have the ball halfway line. Three minutes of the five added. Can we get a halftime age update on Freddy too? Yep. I actually think one of my mods banned him. <laughs> I think one of my mods might have timed him out. I'll have to check, though, Cactus. I'll have to check. Swansea now. Going backwards now all the way to their keeper. One minute to go. Swansea, you might have an age filter. I know I do. I definitely do. I definitely do. Yeah, I definitely do. You're meant to be, I think you're meant to be 18 plus. I think that's what I said. Just in case I swear or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? It's just to protect the kids. I, I just don't want to be inappropriate to any kids. Do you know what I mean? 
Swansea now running it out the back. Not that I, not that I would be like, but in case if I swear or something like that, then no kid needs to hear that. Do you know what I mean? Swansea now down the right hand side. Twenty seconds left. As we chip the ball into Swansea, rolls out Senny Jan goal kick. That'll be half time. At least he can get a picture next season. <laughs> imagine Akpom behind Latte Lath. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine, imagine Akpom in this team this season. He probably would have been injured. Let's not let's not lie. Do you know what I mean? If Akpom had stayed at Borough this season, he would have done his ACL or something. Such was our injuries this season. Absolutely shocking. Akpom would have hurt himself badly, I reckon. Right. Seti Diang boots it as high as he can. Rachel says play on, by the way. So then we're not going to halftime here. It, it, we're 20, 30 seconds now past the five-minute mark. Throw in by the borough. Up to Latte, left the goal scorer. It goes out wide to Izzy Jones. We're still playing on, by the way. We're literally all closer to six minutes now. Izzy Jones into the box. Force to Bill. Bill crosses. Nobody there. Offside he is. Offside, offside, offside. Bill was offside. And he tells the linesman, you're wrong. And that's half time, ladies and gentlemen. That's half time. What a goal by, by Latte Lath, baby. What a goal by Latte Lath, baby. Oh my goodness me. Get in, Barra. Get in. Latte Lath has opened up Swansea here with a brilliant, brilliant finish after an Izzy Jones fizzler. It's fantastic to see. And an absolute outstanding, outstanding performance again by the borough. Oh, so my son hijacked my phone when I was driving. Please say hi to him. Nathan, borough through and through. And even though we're now in Manchester, hello to you, Nathan. Good to see you. Thank you, Steph, as always. If Akbom stayed uh, and left on a free, how much more pressure would it be in the summer? summer? Agreed. Dan Balas is only player at the borough who hasn't been injured. I know, Rev. That is actually a very good point. Imagine Norwich's sergeant. Sorry, imagine Norwich's sergeant is our striker next season. Whoa, that's a big signing. That's a big, big signing. G'day, Jack. How are you, legend? Uh, three more goals needed. We need. I mean, we could bury him here, hundred percent. Yeah, we need. We could bury him. Just keep winning. Uh, finish as high as we can. Yep, I agree, Chris. Uh, if Jones could consistently find the final pass, he'd be a Ballon d'Or. Oh, 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 Burnsy talking dirty to me. Talking dirty to me. Right. If you missed it, Latte Lath has put the borough up one nil. I've had a bit of a loud reaction. Do you guys want to see it again? Because I do. And I want to make sure I woke the neighbors up, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to grab a quick drink of water. You're going to watch my re reaction to the Borough goal. And then we will be right back to continue in here into the second half. It just gives me a chance to have a quick breather. Grab a bottle of water. Do not go anywhere. Here is my reaction to that Latte Lath goal. Oh my goodness me. I'd rather see us get battered in the Prem. Okay. Middlesbrough now. Working it through the midfield. That's what's caused the local wins. Yeah, it's Steven. Right. Out of time. Five minutes out of time. Five minutes out of time. Where's he pulled that from? Five minutes of out of time here. Right. Yeah, you're not wrong, Lucky. How Burnley dominated the championship. And then, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like watching stroke. Yeah, it's not good. Easy Jones. Oh, my goodness. Latte left now on the ball in the box. What can Latte do? Shoot! It's a goal! Latte! Yeah! Latte! Latte, baby! Middlesbrough one! Swansea nil! He does the goggles! I see you, Latte! And I love you! Woohoo! If switch! What did I say, if switch? I didn't mean to say that. Well done, Latte! Great finish. Woo! Bora one, Swansea nil. Get in. Get in. There you have it, beautiful Borough fans. That was the goal. That was the reaction to Latte Last putting the Borough 1 0 up, which is the scoreline here at half time, baby. Let's go around the grounds and get you the half time uh, score updates as well from all the games around the championship.
and the Premier League this afternoon. In the Premier League, it is halftime across the board, and there is only a couple of goals to talk about. Not many goals in that game uh, this afternoon. You've got Haston Villa leading Brentford 1-0 at halftime there. Everton are leading Burnley 1-0 halftime there. Fulham and Newcastle is nil all there. Luton Town and Bournemouth is nil all there. And Wolves are leading West Ham halftime, and Wolves leading that one 1-0. One in the championship, it is halftime across the ch across the countryside. Blackburn, Southampton, nil all. Cardiff are losing to Hull, 2 0. Coventry are leading Leeds, 1 0. Huddersfield, Millwall, nil all there. Leicester and Birmingham are one apiece at halftime. QPR, Sheffield Wednesday, nil all there. Stoke against West Brom. West Brom leading that one, 1 0. Sunderland versus Bristol City, nil all. And Watford versus Preston, nil all there. Let's get the harder pool update as well because we're watching the pools try and stay up here. We want harder pool back in League Two. I know there's a few poolies, and it's half time there. They are leading 1 0. Get in, poolies. Well done, son. Poolies leading that one 1 0 as well. In the early kickoff in the Premier League as well, Crystal Palace lost to Man City 4 2. And in the Championship, it's bad, bad news for the Borough as Norwich have beaten Ipswich, Te Ipswich Town, sorry, 1 0 there, which means the gap between us and six has opened up significantly larger again, and it makes it harder for us to get in. I subbed and liked. Thank you so much, Jack. I appreciate that, mate. I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me here on the YouTube, youtube.com uh, forward slash Enrictus, but I'm also live on the radio. Did you know that? I'm live on the radio right now. The red.com.uk. Uh, oh, did I make that? Did I, did I, hang on. Let me make sure I get that right. I can't, you know, I'm, I'm, Dave's going to kill me. It's the theredukcom theredukcom Let me spam that in the chat. Go in over the red. You can find me there Monday to Friday doing the Northeast Brecky Show uh, on 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. There's the link in the YouTube chat. It's the theredukcom There's also links always behind uh, beneath me in the description below. Uh, they can find me out there. But I'm live currently on the red as well. If you can't watch the stream you can, and you can only listen, then you can listen in right there on the red uh, theredukcom Keep up the good work, mate. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate it, mate. It keeps me busy. Keeps me busy. We're working full time. We're doing radio five days a week. We're doing borough commentaries uh, every game as well. I did miss Monday. I did miss Monday. Uh, I think that's the first game I've missed this year, though. Uh, I, I, I promised in 2024 I would try not to miss as many games as I did last year. And I missed one on Monday because we, we went away for the long weekend. But... Uh, I promise I Trump, I'll definitely now here for the rest of the games. Uh, unless my work, unless my work gets in the way, which, you know, obviously pays the bills. <laughs> which loan players would you sign permanently? Great question, Jordan. I'd definitely start with Lewis O'Brien. 100% uh, get him. Uh, then I would look at Sam Greenwood. I would probably do. And you know what? Luke Ayling as well. Luke Ayling as well, yeah. I'd get Luke Ayling in. I think he's been fantastic down the right-hand side. Uh, and he see, he brings a bit of like um, enthusiasm. Do you know what I mean? You see him in the goal reactions and stuff. So yeah, 100%. 100% I'd sign Luke Howling. Even though he's 31, 32, I still think he's exciting enough to keep. Uh, Latte last Latte scoring in the games he has played considering his injuries is pretty good. You're not wrong, Chris. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. Right, lucky reboot of the hat for the second half. Come on. Very, yep, got you, Badger. Hard on, hat off. Got you. Ready? Hat off. Hat on. I need a haircut. I need a hat. Hey, Dave's listening in live from Connecticut. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. Good to see you, legend. Love you. Drive carefully. Uh, had to put in my Aussie accent and yell at the TV to keep the missing uh, rive ups for the Borough match going. Thanks, Lucky. Get Luke Thomas out. He has been struggling down that left-hand side, hasn't he? Yeah, unfortunately, he has been struggling down that left-hand side. He's been beaten by Ronald. Yeah, he's been beaten by Ronald. Uh, Ailing's wages and age kind of rules out that lad. You reckon, Gameaholic? You reckon he's too much, too expensive and too old? I mean, you, you get Tommy Smith back. Do you know what I mean? So maybe Tommy Smith is like the natural sort of, you know, because he comes back from, you know, season-ending injury. Um, but I'd still, I'd still, you know, I'd still, because Ailing would be free. Don't forget. It's just his wages though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. A well-earned day off, right? Uh, we've always got Maddox and co on the subs bench. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, mate. I really appreciate that. It was a uh, it was a long weekend, then we decided to go away. Even though I did miss the borough, I was watching it on my phone. Uh, up the borough, what is your uh, what is my prediction for the game? Four nil, George. I said four nil to the borough. I'm not even joking. I think we would we were dominating it. 
and I'm still saying we score three goals in the second half. I feel we're close to a promotion push next season. What do you think we need the most in the summer? If we get, Paul, if we get two strikers in, right, I think we're going to be set up fantastically for next season. We just need striker depth, right? We've had the depth. Defenders, obviously, we've got, we've got a lot of defenders. They've just all been injured. Do you know what I mean? So I would say two strikers definitely to back up Latte Lath. And, you know, look, then I'd, I'm not sure where I'd go from after that. But if we get two strikers in, I'd be thinking next season we're going to be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Damn, says George. Yeah, 4-0. I'm not, I'm, look, I'm not going crazy. George, you are. <laughs> uh, Jack Steele for me is the best right back, but Carrick still hardly plays him. I'm not sure what that is, Badge. Yeah, I'm not sure why Dyke still can't get a game. He prefers he preferred bringing in Luke Ayling over Dyke still. Do you know what I mean? Maybe Dyke still's off in the summer. I'm not too sure. It's it's a good question because I I would argue that Dyke still's you know a decent right back as well. He hasn't got the pace or anything though. I think I think for me what I would say about Dyke still that's going in against him is he's not that sort of pacey right wing back. Does that make sense? You know how Bill and Luke Thomas or Engel, they kind of run down those wings and they create almost like a right and left winger. And, you know, Bill, like Ailing crosses it in and stuff like that. I would argue that, I would argue that Luke, uh, sorry, that Jake still isn't that type of defender. He's your traditional big bodied lad. He's a solid lad. Do you know what I mean? And he's not that pacey and he hasn't got a good cross on him. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I think that's maybe what's going against him. I'm not too... But that's just me guessing. I'm just putting two and two together there. Uh, we need a house and replacement as a priority. Because Jake still has pace, uh, more pace than Smith and Ailing. Do you reckon he does? I'd argue that Ailing's quite fast, though. I mean, I could be wrong, Badger. You could be right there. Tommy Smith will keep Dyke Seal out. Yep. Every time this season, Dyke has had a chance. He seems to have gotten injured or let us down. And I think he's out of contract in the summer too. Well, there you go, Cactus. Uh, Latte and Marcus only one more striker. Uh, like a poacher or target man. Clark Harris, maybe. Mm, Latte. Yeah, if Marcus Force, obviously. You can't forget about Marcus Force. Dykes is a pure unit, though. He is. Yeah, he is, Stuart. Not wrong. Holland Coventry are winning, and that's not good. Nope, that's not good at all for us. Uh, but we just, you know, we're winning here, and that's all we can control. Unfortunately... The Burroughs season has gotten to a point where we just have to win what we can and, and hope that results go for us, you know, in the other games. But at the moment, they're not. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we've we've lost games that we shouldn't have lost. You know, we there were games that we should have won that we didn't. We've had horrid injuries. So, unfortunately, it's one of those things where, you know, it, it's it's now out of our, it's out of our control. Borough can just go and win every game now to the end of the season and it still won't be enough. Do you know what I mean? But... It is, it is what it is, you know, I mean, as long as Borough continue the run into the offseason, that's all I want to see now. A confident team going into the end of the season gives a lot more, uh, a lot more pulling power in the summer. Do you know what I mean? Players that want to, that are out of contract. Hey, did you see we finished seventh? We were just outside of the playoffs. Next season, let's have a hard push. Sign on. Hey, we're trying to get you to come in as a striker or whatever to play for the Borough. We finished seventh. Next season, we're going for a hard push. Why don't you sign on? Do you know what I mean? There's a bit more pushing power, I, I would argue, for, for a very strong finish. Plus, the, uh, the atmosphere. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's on a high because we've, you know, we've been winning games. So it just makes it for a more happier place going into the summer. I think Dyke just needs a fresh start where he can get a game and get back up to speed. Fair enough. Housen can stay for another 10 years if I care. I agree, Steph. Give him a Lamborghini as well. We can beat Hull, though. Huge game. We can beat Hull. We can beat Ipswich. We can beat Leeds. But it still might not be enough. Do you know what I mean, Chris? Because mathematically, it's now a big, big gap. But all we can do is control what we can control, win what we can win, uh, and, you know, what will be will be. Well, I'd have screwed us early doors. A full season on Carrick might bring us back into comp playoff contention. You mean end of last year? You mean start of last year, Lucky? Start of last year? Is that what you mean? You mean start of last year? Start of last year? Uh, still got five left, 15 points up for grabs today. Two tough games with Ipswich and Leeds. Yeah, Stuart. Yeah, I know. Uh, in my honest opinion, to be fair, Drake still has not had a lot of opportunities to be consistent. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, bad. DG, what up, cutie? How are you, bud? Uh, Lucky, is a, you're a year behind. Yeah, he is. Uh, at the same time, we won games that we were very doubtful, like Leicester before. Yeah, well, you're not wrong, Stephen. Then we lost. Then we gave points away at Rotherham. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's painful. Give Rav a permanent contract and club ownership. <laughs> we might do that. Don't laugh. We might do that. To keep him around at the borough, we might do that. Do you know what I mean? We might do that. I thought Drakesy would have started today, to be fair. He, he likes Luke Ayling. Do you know what I mean? He likes Luke Ayling. And, and even for me, you know, he, 
you know, I guess Luke Haley hasn't done anything wrong at the moment to, for me to say, get out of my team. Do you know what I mean? Let's go to X or Twitter for those playing old school and see what the Borough fans think of that performance in the halftime. Borough leading this game 1-0 uh, against Swansea. Uh, and this is the thoughts of the Borough. This can be often dangerous, by the way, of me reading this. But uh, there is a lot of uh, thoughts here for Borough's first half performance. Uh, this one person says, attacking quality has been poor. Greenwood and Azaz and a Jones need to be better. Latte Lath, the positive, can make something out of nothing up the borough. Oh, that's a bit harsh. Anyway, uh, Lucas says, bring the goat on. Is the goat Riley McGree? Because he's injured. Uh, this one player, this one Twitter fan says, that was boring. Oh. I uh, haven't got our first gear uh, out of first gear and we need to kill the game off in the second half. Come on, Barra. Yes. Uh, one player says, one person says, I noticed Hackney still isn't on. <laughs> uh, the other one says, don't let that guy, don't let that goal hide away from that swear word half. I don't understand Thomas. He ain't uh, a left back. So I missed the old Jones taking on players. As as will come good, I'm sure of it. Just not quite yet. So again, but Barra fans are hard to please, man. Barra fans are hard to please. Uh, but a few thoughts from the X fear um, as there as Aston Villa have just gone two 0 up against Brentford as well. The Wolves game, uh, sorry, yeah, the Villa game's back underway and Villa have just scored straight after the break. As we see the players returning here for the Borough, we've got two teams walking back out of the pitch. Swansea and Borough, second half about to get underway here. Twitter is always so negative, or X is really bad, Gary. Actually, yeah, it's really bad. What up, baby? Not much, Deej. How are you, bud? You tucked yourself into bed. Or you gaming? Uh, it'd be funny if Leicester, if they bottle are going up and they're cheating. I mean, Cactus, they are not looking good. Do you know what I mean? And then they've got the FFP um, embargo over their heads. So, yeah, they're in big trouble. Morgan Rogers just scored for Villa. Did he really? Did he really? Morgan! Get in, Morgan. Well done, son. Good on him. Uh, Hackney and Fry and Holiday, it seems. Who is our medical staff? <laughs> Oh, time flies so fast. Just finished college this year. Level three diploma in sport. Wow, distinctions as well. Washing Borough is awesome. Sorry, I'm behind. You're fine, Lucky. Congratulations on distinctions as well. Congratulations. That's fantastic to hear. Right, second half. Swansea going to get us underway. It is Middlesbrough one, Swansea nil. Swansea will be kicking to the right-hand side of my screen. Middlesbrough to the left. And Swansea gets us underway. Second half of football here at the Riverside. Swansea go all the way back to their center backs here. And they'll go even further back to their goalkeeper as they off to a possessive start. Not looking to give it away cheaper here at Swansea. Passing around at the back. Hello, Rob. Bloody day that savings. I missed the first half. I know. My, my game is about to... Um, so it's currently 2 a.m. here, right? In an hour, my clock's going to go back to 2 a.m. So this game's only going to go for like an hour for me. <laughs> up the borough, Steph. Up the borough, Harvey. As Swansea now come down this left-hand side. Hope you're there well, though, Robert. Good to see you, mate. Swansea now into the box. Oh, the wind grabs that. The wind is horrendous here at the Riverside. Honestly, any ball in the air, the wind just grabs it and takes it out to space. The amount of balls we've lost to, to, to Mars today is ridiculous. Uh, and then NASA are going to freak out that the couple of the balls from the Riverside are on Mars. Uh, I still think the three teams that came down will go back up in the three teams that went up. will come back down, Sally. The gap between the Premier and the Championship is far too large and it needs to be reduced. Oh, okay, okay. I'd be happy to fast forward one hour and get the three points. Yeah, not wrong, Cactus. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness, Balassa. Oh, my God, Balassa, what have you done? Balassa almost caught an own goal. Balassa is mucking around with it in the box. He then gives it away in the box and then tries to pass it back to Seni Dieng or something. I don't know what Balassa's done, but it goes out for a corner. Swansea take it quickly. They have a shot blocked. Latte Lath. Here comes Luke Hailing. Luke Hailing on the counter. Out to Izzy Jones. Come on, Borough. Latte Lath now. No, Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones. Back to Izzy Jones. Into the box now for Luke Hailing. Shoots. Box. Corner. Oh. Wow. Good counter. But bam, Balassa. What are you doing? Jeez. Oh, on the 16th minute, there's going to be a round of applause for Freddy's 60th. All right. Got you, Cactus. I'll start clapping. It's a borough corner here. Spicy, that. That was some transition. You're not wrong, Gary. 47 minutes gone. Middlesbrough corner. Come on, borough. Come on. Come on. Sam Greenwood. Hand in the air. Like you just don't care. Into the center of the box. Nobody there. Wind took it again. 
The wind took that ball again and floats it out to the other side where Luke Thomas picks it up, but he can't get around the Swansea man in Ronald and he gets the ball off Thomas and here comes Swansea now on the counter. But Matt Clark gets his, uh, gets his body in the way and the ball hits him on the knees and goes out for a Swansea throw in here. Jeez, that was some two minutes or so as Borough fans still finding their seats. <laughs> but Lass is so frustrating. He does the great stuff then makes silly mistakes. He's worth persisting though, yeah. If he gets some mistakes out of the way, he's a fantastic player. I agree. He's just fr he's one of those frustrating players, isn't he? I just think he's not consistent enough. As Swansea give the ball away to Izzy Jones now on the right-hand side. Izzy Jones, right-hand side. Goes around the Swansea player. Into the box for Finazaz. Finazaz! Shoots! Blocks! Corner! No, at a corner again. Not a corner. Oh, my goodness. My set pieces. Sorry, our set pieces are not proving. Uh, we must be the worst in the league at set plays. Well, yeah, you know. It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Right. Middlesbrough now down the left-hand side. They go backwards. Middlesbrough now. Going across now. Set pieces are being ruined by the wind. Yeah, they're not wrong. Don't forget, you are listening to me on youtube.com uh, forward slash Enrictus. If you could... Consider liking and subscribing. It's free to do and it helps the stream. And also, we're broadcasting on the Red Radio. Broadcasting live to 2.5 million listeners across the Northeast. 2.5 million listening in to me old Rye. It's good to have you joining us here on this afternoon. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Roger scored for Villa. I know, I know. Sam Green, McLean, yep. Swansea now throw in in front of the halfway line. They go back to the halfway. Nathan Wood goes out to the left-hand side. Bayern are losing 3-2. Really? Swansea's still on the ball. Into the box! Cleared by Johnny Hassan. Swansea will load up again here, though. Down this left-hand side. But, oh, well done, Finazaz, who becomes the, turns into a defender and gets the ball off Swansea. And then he has... Izzy Jones now down the right-hand side. We flicks it into Sam Greenwood. Sam Greenwood now goes to flick it in. Blocked by Swansea. Bar a corner. Set pieces are getting ruined by the wind. Yeah, you're not wrong. You should see what I'm doing to my hair piece, Steph. What are you doing to... No, actually, don't answer that, John. Right, Borough Corner. 50 minutes gone. Michael Carrick in his grey sweatshirt and a very expensive watch by the looks of that. Borough Corner into the box. God, he goes over his head. And it's a Swansea throw-in because the ball rolls out to the other side of the pitch for a throw-in here to Swansea. Latte Lath got his head up to that corner coming in from Sam Greenwood. He can't direct it down, though, Latte. It skips over the top of his head and goes out to the other side of the pitch for a throw-in. I'll be in Australia this summer. First time coming over. I'm going to Mackay. It should be a nice break. It will be a nice break. It'll be hot. It'll be wet as well. I'm pretty sure it's in wet season there, right? Eddie Aussie's in the chat. Mackay's in wet season now, right? Or going into my wet season, I think. I'll have to Google that or get or get a Aussie to answer me that, Lucky. But uh, enjoy. Australia's a beautiful place. I need another goal to put Swansea to bed. Yes, we do, Badger, 100%. One nil to Bournemouth. Tav scored. So not only has Marcus Rogers scored, Morgan Rogers, sorry. Morgan Rogers has scored for Villa and now Tav has scored for Bournemouth. Is that what you're telling me, Rav? Get out! It's disgusting. Coventry have scored 2 nil as well. Thank you, Rav. Here comes Swansea now. Through the midfield. Oh, God. Here comes Swansea. Into the box now. Swansea! Sadi Dieng! Swansea have walked through the Borough squad. It was a dangerous build up there, but the shot lacked any power. And Sadi Dieng saves well. Here comes Borough now on the counter. Swansea now. Coming out the left-hand side. It's not Coventry 2-0, isn't it? Are we getting lies again? If people uh, give me fake scores in the chat, you're getting, you'll be kicked out. I don't want fake scores. Don't be rude. It is commentary 2-0 though. It is commentary 2-0. Or did, it, did the goal get cancelled? The goal get cancelled. It is 2-0. It is 2-0. I just got it confirmed. It is 2-0. Thomas. Thomas, it is 2-0. Da, 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 da. Right. Middlesbrough now. 
Oh my God, as we get a great ball, the Latte Lath into the box. Middlesbrough now alone with Latte Lath in the box. He shoots, blocked by Swansea, and they'll clear it quickly. Well done, Latte. God, he's a threat. Is Thomas looking exhausted already? He's been beaten in every challenge today, Stuart. I'm not sure what's going on. As Sam Greenwood gets on the ball. And then he shoots! Oi, Sammy Greenwood! Tries to fly it into the right-hand side of the goal. He can't whip it around enough, though, and it'll go out for a Swansea goal kick. 50 minutes gone. Sam Greenwood. I'd sign him, eh? I'd honestly give Sam Greenwood a contract. I think he's got something about him. Do you know what I mean? He's only young. I mean, I think I honestly would sign Sam Greenwood on a, on a permanent if we have the chance to. Give the ball to Jones and Latte. They are absolutely our threats today, Chris. 100%. Uh, Leeds, Leeds are falling apart. Yeah. Right. Borough throw in. Ailing to Finazaz. Takes it down well. Pushed over, though. Ref says free kick. Borough free kick right in front of the halfway line here. No subs at the moment. The only one is Swansea's Timon and Pumba, or Timon for short. He went off in the first 10 minutes with an Achilles injury. And Swansea replaced him with Abdullah. And there's no, been no other substitution since. As Finazaz is now on the board. Takes it through the center of the pitch. Goes to try in Sam Greenwood. But he puts too much Vegemite on that pass. And it floats well in front of him. But well done, Aileen. Gets the ball back. Sam Greenwood now over to Izzy Jones. Izzy Jones on the right-hand side. Flicks into the finish, Zaz. Boy, he can't get to it quickly enough, though. Just wants to get on it. And then they clear it. And they boot it. But they boot it straight into their own man. He's, oh my goodness, almost knocked his own player out as he tried to boot it clear, did the Swansea player. It comes into the back of the head of the Swansea player and goes out for a throw in. Middlesbrough now on the ball. Great turn here by Finazaz. Can't get around the Swansea player though. Swansea winner and they clear again. Oh my goodness. I was sent to commentary in my last job. Nobody spoke to me all day. <laughs> Middlesbrough now. Try and get back on the ball through Johnny Housen. And they do. Good on you, Johnny Housen. Filling in everywhere is Johnny. As, oh no, he gets the ball taken from him. Now Middlesbrough, a man down in defense. Here comes Swansea on a counter. They go to Ronald on the right-hand side. Lewis O'Brien's out there helping Luke Thomas, though. And he can't get around both of them. That's in. Lewis and Luke Thomas shutting down that left-hand side. Swansea throw in. I feel sorry for Greenwood because he's a uh, number 10 and he never gets played in that position, but he is a crook's yellow card collector and goes missing far too often considering he's trying to get a contract. Yeah, that's not a bad shout. All right. Here comes Swansea now. Right-hand side. Into the box. Blocked by Lewis O'Brien. Give Johnny his Lambo. I agreed. G'day, Freddie. Welcome back. I applied and I got timed out. Don't mention your age. There's an age filter, apparently, Freddie. Don't mention ages or how old you are. And don't spam. I think my auto mod might have caught you. I'm not too sure, though. I can't see until after the stream. Right. Swansea corner, uh, by the way. 55 minutes gone. Into the box. Goes over. Wood heads it out. He heads wide. Swansea wastes their corner. It went to Nathan Wood, the ex borough player. He heads it wide and goes out for a goal kick. Hey, LD, how are you? How are we? You joined late. Don't you ever be sorry, LD. Uh, we are playing very well. Uh, the first half, we had a, a few, fair few chances. Latte scored a pretty scrappy goal, um, but it was an Izzy Jones fizzer that the, uh, the, uh, the keeper pushed out. Latte left and gets on it and then manages to like flick a left shot in. Uh, and it hits the post and dribbles in. It wasn't a spectacular goal, but it was a fantastic goal. Borough one nil up. Uh, but Swansea in this second half have been the team in possession. Yeah, I would say. Hey, Kate, how are you? G'day, Riley. How are you, legend? Uh, you're welcome, Freddie. All good, mate. Hull match is now Hull 2, Cardiff 1. Thank you. Baggies are 2 nil up. Thank you so much, Stephen. Wrexham are the only team letting me down in my bet. Oh, no, Gary. You got a, mul you got a multi on. Uh, 1 nil. Come on, Borough. You're not wrong, Kate. Invictus, should I apply for their borrow? Yeah, go and apply. Yep, tell them, tell them, Freddie, that um, Gary sent you. Gary Wright there in, in chat, send, tell them that he sent you. That'll get you through 100%. It's what worked for me. Hello, Hells. How are you, legend? Uh, I'm right here now after some dinner. Let's go. Is Riley McGree injured? He is, George. He's out for the rest of the season. Yes, I know. It's painful. It sucks. Uh, but it, Riley McGree heard himself in here in Sydney when I went and saw him live. And the first time I see Riley McGree playing live in the first 14 minutes, he trips over on this stupid Sydney pitch and hurts his left foot. And now he's out for the rest of the season. Yes, I'm a curse. 
Oh, I joined the Discord for more Borough updates. Lucky, I appreciate you. Thank you for joining the Discord. I really do appreciate that. Guys, if you want to join the Discord, it is a fantastic little community we've got. We chat Borough. You keep up to date with everything going on in my life. Uh, if you want to talk to me after stream during the week, go, hey, Rai, where's career mode? Hey, Rai, what are you doing? Hey, Rai, are you on the toilet? Then the way, the way to do that is to get into this store, Discord right there. That link right there in chat. Click it. Come join and annoy me when I'm on the toilet. Is it one all? No, Anonymous. I want to meet the medical staff at Borough for a pint and a discussion. I'm sure they'd invite you for that one. 57 minutes gone. Middlesbrough 1, Sheffield. Sorry, Swansea nil. It's now Hull 3, Cardiff 1. Wow. Thank you, Warrior. Middlesbrough with a throw in here to Ailing. Ailing throws it in now. Goes to Izzy Jones, Latilath. Latilath falls over and gives the ball away. Swansea now trying for a counter. But Matt Clark comes in. My God, he's good. My God, he's good. Matt Clark boots it out for the borough. Gets any threat out of our harm's way. And Swansea will have a throw in here. Just in front of the corner flag here. You'll probably come away injured, Chris. T toilet update. Say less, I'm joining. Thank you, Daz. <laughs> it's upside down. We lose to Rotherham, but we win at Leicester. I know, Freddie. I know. It's weird, eh? Here comes Swansea now. They throw it backwards to Nathan Wood. The big bald eagle, yeah. I'm sat in sunny Cornwall in the UK in typical weather. It's raining and watching the stream. No way, Kate. It's a beautiful afternoon at the Riverside. Can you believe it? Cornwall's raining and, and Middlesbrough's <laughs> sunshine is... I, uh, Kate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Right, here comes Middlesbrough. Sorry, Swansea now down the right-hand side. Swansea crosses in early. Cleared by Ailing. Ooh. Right, Swansea now. Get the ball back. Crawls it in again. Cleared by Balassa. Straight back to the Swansea player, and he's tripped over by Izzy Jones. And the referee says, yep, it's a free kick on the corner of the box here. It's a dangerous free kick here for Swansea. It's on the corner of the box here. It's a foul from Izzy Jones. He's collected the ankle of Abdullah. He takes the, he gets the ball as well, but he takes his ankle with him as well. And it's a free kick, dangerous spot here for Sheffield Wednesday. Oh my God, why did I say Sheffield Wednesday? Swansea, what? Because I, I read you, Warrior. That's why I read you saying Sheffield won. <laughs> it's good chance for Swansea. Please, Borough. Swansea, hand in the air. Into the box! Cleared! Luke Hailing. Woo! But he'll head it out of danger and it'll fall straight to Swansea. It goes into the box. Goes out. Goal kick. Threat averted. Oh, my goodness me. Borough need to score too. 100% we do. Let's get some scores for you guys around the grounds as well. In the championship this afternoon, it is Blackburn Southampton nil all. Cardiff are losing to Hull, 3-1 there. Coventry are leading Leeds, 2-0. Huddersfield, Millwall, nil all there. Leicester and Birmingham, 1-0 there. QPR, Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield Wednesday have just scored in that game, so it's now 1-0 to Sheffield Wednesday. Stoke are losing to West Brom, 2-0. Sunderland, Bristol City, nil all. And Watford, Preston, nil all. In the Premier League, it is Aston Villa, 2. Brentford, 2. Everton, 1. Leading Burnley, nil. Fulham, Newcastle, nil all. Luton losing to Bournemouth, 1-0. And Wolves are leading West Ham, 1-0. Okay. Middlesbrough now on the ball with Matt Clark. Possession-wise for this game, by the way, it's 55% possession to Swansea, 45% possession to Middlesbrough, which, you know, is not the greatest stats for Middlesbrough, but we've had 10 shots to Swansea 6. Three shots of those, that 10 for the Borough, have been on target to Swansea's 1. And here comes Swansea now down the left-hand side. Villa v Brentford 2 all. Yeah, it's a crazy game, that one. In the earlier game there as well, Crystal Palace lost to Man City 4-2. Oh, as Wood gets tackled on the left, right-hand side for Latte Lath. And it looks like Swansea going to make a substitution here. Yeah, I know we're playing Hull next, Freddy. It's a tough run now, mate. We got Hull, Ipswich, then Leeds. I don't know if it's in that order, but it's Hull, Ipswich, Leeds, I think. It's crazy, mate. Our next three games are very uh, uh, are horrid. They are. They're, they're not good. Swansea now on the ball down the right-hand side, just mucking around with it at the moment, Swansea. They're not really penetrating Burrow's defense, but they're trying to pass it around looking for the perfect pass. Goes backwards to their Grimes, their center back. Correct order, right? Thank you, Steph. It's then Cardiff, then Watford. 
Actually, that's a tough ending as well. Carter for Wade, you know what I mean? Swansea now, halfway line, running it down the right-hand side. My God, we've only got a couple more weeks of football left of the season, Borough fans. What are we going to do in the off-season? You guys aren't going to see me for like two months. Imagine how grey I'll go in two months, Borough fans. What am I going to do in the off-season? I'm going to miss my lotch-alongs. I'm going to have to do... I'm going to have to get buff. Mm. <laughs> do your career mode. Good. Good shout. Good shout, boo. Watch England dominate the Euros. Thomas. When you beat Brazil and Belgium, get back to me. <laughs> we got the Euros. Would you guys... You, you want, I can... I don't really follow the Euros, though, because I'm Australian. Do you know what I mean? So... But I'll try. Swansea now. Down the right-hand side of the pitch. How long's the AFL season? Just started, Lucky. Just started. Uh, and it goes through till September. Get puff, not buff. Love it, Clifford. Done. Can Swansea take off their captain? Yes. As Swansea now try to play it down the right-hand side, oh, that is the ugliest pass you have ever seen, and Ronald is not happy, the Swansea player. It's a substitution here for Swansea, by the way. They'll make the first substitution here in the afternoon. G'day, Ryan. Just got into good seed. Uh, doing the commentary, looking good, fella. Thank you, Rod. I appreciate it. And you're looking good. Thanks for being here, legend. Um, have weekly chats about transfer rumors? Yeah, not a bad shout. Right. Swansea making a change here. They're making a triple change. Oh, my goodness. Swansea are throwing everything at this one now. There'll be three substitutions here. The first one is Fulton off, Walsh on. There you go. Three substitutions for Swansea. And Yates, their striker, comes off for Cullen. Any danger men on the bench for Borough? Yeah, Hayden Hackney. Basil and Slater. Yeah, not wrong, Nigel. I could do that, actually. I think if we go seven games, I've beaten. Yeah, no football. So I watch AFL, trying to understand what's going on. As it looks fun, I just need to choose a team. Lucky, choose the Adelaide Crows. They'll both break your heart and make you cry. It's fun. Trust me. Spend some time with the family. Catch up on sleep. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, Gary. It's currently 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> You're not wrong, mate. You know what I mean? Like, I could just sleep. Who's Burroughs' next manager? Me. Because it's crazy to think that Michael Carrick's ever going anywhere. Right. Burrow now with the ball. Far right-hand side pitch. There is so much rubbish on this Riverside pitch, by the way. There is garbage bags, like shopping bags, floating everywhere because of the wind. It is just... It is like... Players are going to trip over them soon. Right. Does Oz watch alongs? <laughs> Get yourself to the Borough Breakdown podcast in the in the summer. I don't really have any contacts there, JP, to be honest with you. Uh, Crows sound like Borough. We'll go, I guess I'll go Adelaide Crows. That's it, lucky. Yeah, I don't really know anyone at the Borough Breakdown podcast, bro. Uh, I remember Hackney in my country. It's like 4.20 in the morning. Let's go, Freddie. Yeah, I want to see Finch play. I'd love to see Finch get some hours now. Johnny Housen is the next manager, 26, 27. Imagine, Gary. Not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. Swansea now have the ball. 65th minute, by the way. Halfway line here, throwing it around. Not much is happening on the pitch. Swansea have had all the possession in the second half, but they haven't penetrated at all. It's been really just sort of back and forth. Swansea now, coming down the right-hand side. Tries to cross it in. Blocked by Luke Thomas. Swansea corner. It's the morning. My man doesn't know. Ooh, Freddie. Don't get in trouble. I want to see another score. Me too, Hells. Me too. Me too. All right. Swansea. Corner. 66 minute. And we see the Riverside bouncing. Hello, Bar fans. Walsh puts it into the box. Goes absolutely everyone. The wind absolutely takes that ball and blows it into the next stadium across. And it's a Borough throw in on the opposite side of the pitch. Hey, when you say what you're going to do after the season finishes, do FIFA and a football manager save. I like that, Holy. I like that. I like the Borough career mode. I haven't really ever played football manager, but I could definitely play some FIFA for sure, man. I've just done 129 kickups. Put that in your application, Freddie. You know where you're saying, I'm not, you know, however old you were. Don't say it in chat so you don't get banned. Put that in and then say, I also do 129 kickups. That'll get you into the Borough. Trust me. Hey, with it being so windy, I just want us to try some long shots just to upset the keeper. And then maybe Lady Luck will keep uh, will help us out. Uh, getting to borrow quiet at the moment. Yeah, not wrong, Badger. 
need a second and then uh, bring Sonny Finch on. No subs look at every subs out. There's no subs coming on for the borough anytime soon. They're all training down the right hand side of the pitch. Right, play some GTA. You want to watch me play GTA, Lily? Don't you need friends to play with GTA though? I don't have any friends that play GTA. Correct, go put some Vegemite on that ball. Keep it on the lower of the ground. It's absolutely flying around. The wind is taking it. Stoke have just scored, by the way. It's West Brom 2, Stoke 1. I've heard of Benjamin Bloom. He corrected me when I said, why do teams with the most possession win? Really, Borough tend to play nearly always with less possession. Coventry are beating Leeds with less possession. It doesn't always work like that, John. I agree that more possession can sometimes mean. Do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't always work like that. Invite the viewers or people from Discord. Shout, JP. Shout. Shout. Play some Tarkov. I love Tarkov. I actually love Tarkov Hell's Bells. I just don't think anyone wants to sit there and watch me play games, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm not very good. Oh! <clears throat> nah, we're good. Uh, long ball just went up to Izzy Jones, and he tried to control it, but he got the wrong... Oh, Latte! Latte's just been pushed over! What was that? Nathan Wood off the balls just pushed Latte Lath on the ground. Not like not that. Did the meaning football get lost on its way to Oz? Just as the same in America, we call it rugby here. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it's even, yes. We, we changed what we call our sports every day of the week. It's even, it's ridiculous here. We call it soccer and rugby league and union. If I said football here, you'd think I'm talking about the AFL. You've never missed a bid? Thank you, Freddie. I appreciate that. Free kick to Borough. Halfway line. 70 minutes gone. Middlesbrough not yet made a substitution. Swansea made four. See you later, Freddie. Thank you, Wasco. I appreciate you, mate. Amazing. Nearly 70 minutes and no yellow cards. Usually it's about five by now. Respect the ref. She's fantastic, actually. Rebecca Welch, mate. The first female referee in the Premier League. Luke Thomas, by the way, same great one. Oh my God, chance! Blocked! Where did this come from? Out! Thomas has done fantastic well down this left-hand side. He then feeds the ball into Sam Greenwood. Sam Greenwood's first touch has let him down. He can't control it well. He gets a shot away anyway. And it hits the Swansea player. It goes out for a throw-in. Swansea now on the defense here as Middlesbrough press. Finn is as. What do you call cricket? Now we call that cricket. Uh, bye, Freddy, all ages. <laughs> Riley McGree, the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, not wrong. I'd love to see Rye rage at some Fortnite. Lily, I'm not good at games, and I will rage, 100%. Uh, Hubby plays Helldivers on the PS5. It's funny to watch and plays FIFA and Borough in the Premier League. Yes, love that, Kate. Love that. I'll have to figure something out. We might do some games or something over here. What season was your shirt? This shirt was... Here you go. We'll play a game with the chat while there's not much happening in the football. What year is this search from? You ready? I'll give you a hint on this side. Right. And then I'm going to show you the back of what name I've got. There you go. The winner in chat gets a chocolate egg. Whatever, whoever can guess the year of this shirt. You get a chocolate egg. 2020, 2021, 22, 23, 2017, 18. It's 2020, 21, 22. A lot of, dis lot of, lot of misinformation. It's Hummel as well, don't forget. It's not area. It's Hummel. 1873. <laughs> it's the 1819. Well done, Jacob. It's the 1819. It's the 1819. Well done. 1892. Yeah, don't spam, Freddy. You'll get timed out again. Freddy, calm it down. Careful before auto mode gets you. Right, Swansea now. Down this right-hand side of the pitch. 71st minute. Swansea now. They've had all the ball the second half, by the way. Borough have had nothing. Oh. oh no, Thomas has given away a silly free. Thomas has given away a 
silly, silly free. Ronald has gotten around Luke Thomas. And then Luke Thomas doesn't like that. So he grabs his shirt and pulls him back. The ball was going out for a goal kick and Thomas has wasted it. And now it's a free kick in a special, a pretty dangerous spot here for Swansea. Short corner, pretty much. Third, 73rd minute. Right, Swansea. We need to wake up. It's been, it's been all Swansea this second half, hey? Swansea now. Come on. Defend Barra. Swansea go to check the ball, steal the ball, and it is. Right here is the best Australian. Thank you so much. Swansea now, hand in the air. Into the box. Oh my God, play went down, but ref says nothing. Goes over to the other side. Swansea get back on the ball now. They're playing around with it outside the box. Swansea into the box, over everybody's head, out for a goal kick, threat averted. Whew. Far out. Take him off for Engel. I would too, actually, Stuart, now. Honestly, no, we haven't conceded anonymous, no. Enrictus was your shirt made in 1856. No. Uh, I miss Engel. I miss him too, and I don't see why Thomas is starting when Thomas is a lone player and Engel's our own. Gary Hay, you are absolutely a genius, and I agree that we need to make substitutions, but Michael Carrick doesn't like doing substitutions. Why? I don't know. How deadly are venomous snakes around the trash cans and man-eating butterflies, right? Very, very, especially those butterflies. I lost this finger to them. These three fingers. These three fingers I lost to butterflies. It's crazy. All right, throw in here, Borough. 75th minute. Geordies have gone 1-0 up against Fulham, have they? Is, is Sunderland still nil all? Borough now into the box through Sam Greenwood. Borough, Sam Greenwood. Do something. Hits the Swansea player. Goes back to Barlassa, who gets tackled well by the Swansea man. Izzy Jones comes to help out. Gets in the way, though, and it's a goal kick to Swansea. Threat averted. Guys, don't forget to like the stream and consider subscribing. It is free to do. It is very, very strict free to do, and it really does help the stream. You can also join the Discord and talk to me all days of the week, all hours of the night, on the toilet, or even when I'm in bed, by joining that Discord right there. I hope you're enjoying the uh, Borough Watch Along here, Middlesbrough versus Swansea, also live on the RedUK.com. You can catch me there Monday to Friday where I do the Northeast Footy Brecky Show. Right, you don't have fingers on your right hand? No, I lost these fingers. I lost these ones to a butterfly. Well, comes Swansea again down the right-hand side, blocked by Johnny House, and well done. Uh, we need all players like Gareth Southgate, imagine. I always enjoy the watch-alongs. Thanks, Hells. I'm nervous. Me too, Smoggy. One nil's not enough. Best man eating butterfly deterrent is box jellyfish surrounded by blue ring octopus and his inline tap and snakes. Thanks, Badger. I'll write that down. Right, what's your go-to barbecue meal? For me, it's T-bone uh, steak, red onion coleslaw, and a halloumi cheesy chips. Jeez, lucky. And now you're making me hungry at 3 a.m. Um, what's my go-to barbecue? I honestly just like sausage and onion. You know, like just like a... Like banger. Like a... What do you guys call it in the UK? Banger? Like a banger and mash? But instead of the mash, just like some caramelized onion. Yeah. And Rick, just we need leads to come back. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Big time. Yes, we do. The results are definitely not going in our favor today. That's for sure. Shrimps on the barbie! <laughs> Middlesbrough now get the ball through. Matt Clark, who's been absolutely fantastic today, by the way. Matt Clark has not let anything pass him today. Incredible. Give this man a thumb. Do it, chat. Give me your thumbs. I'm missing mine. Give it to me. Thank you. Ah, see what I did there? Bit of magic. My my four-month-old loves that one. Or this one. What do you, what, how do you do it? How do I do it for camera? You know this one? Oh, hang on. Oh, here we go. My four-month-old loves this. Ready? Like this? Ready? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. 
Look at me go. Swansea making another substitution here. Borough yet to make a substitution. God, this is a boring game. Yeah, it's not much happening, to be honest with you. It's a pretty boring game of football. It's been back and forth. Yeah, not, not really doing too well. Geordies have had the goal disallowed. Really? So it's still nil all there. Wow. Two all in the Stoke game. Wow. Jeez. Still 4-0. Probably not, George. <laughs> Tony Lomi, the guitarist from Black Sabbath. His fingers are missing both right hand too. Really, Stephen? Jeez. Stoke a level. That's wild, that. It's a yellow card for Swansea here. Bad tackle on Luke Ayling. It's a bad tackle on Luke Ayling. He got away from the Swansea man. And the Swansea man just grabs his shirt, pulls him back. Easy yellow card any day of the week. Free kick, Borough. Leeds are two. Leeds got one back, 2 1 there. Thank you, guys. Mills will take the free kick quickly, but we go backwards with it. It was Cooper from Swansea who got the yellow card, by the way. 78th minute. And then we go all the way back to Senny Dieng, who controls it well and then boots it out. Cleared up to Izzy Jones. Ball falls to Finizaz. Great ball here now from Finizaz. What can we do? Great into Latte Lath, into the box. Latte Lath steps one, shoots, go! Latte! I see you! I see you! Latte! Do you see me? It's 2 a.m. in Australia, and I love thee! I love thee! Yes! 2 0! Get in, Latte! What a finish that is! Oh! He drags it back. He trips, sends the Swansea player sliding to nowhere. It's a great ball from Finna Zaz. He sends the Swansea player and he curls, turns back in, curls it in, top right. Oh my goodness, this kid is good. This kid is good! God, Latte! Woo! 2-0 to the Borough. Game, set, chess. Oh. Come on, Leeds. <laughs> Get in. Geordies have scored. Okay, thank you. Right, Middlesbrough again now, down the right-hand side. Pushed over is Izzy Jones, though. Ref says play on. Swansea now down the left-hand side, trying to get around Ailing. Can't get around Ailing. Ailing gives him a bit of an elbow for his luck, and he gets a yellow card, and it's a free kick here. It's a free kick here. 80th minute. Dare we wish a hat trick? Oh, imagine. Imagine. Commentary 2, Leeds 1. Come on, Leeds! I'm not dancing on stream, Freddy. Sorry, bud. That's that's for my um that's for my personal content. You have to pay extra for me to dance. <laughs> Cleared by Burra. And it's a free kick, actually. Swansea took that free kick too quickly. One of their men was sleeping offside. Free kick to the Burra, 81st minute. Latte hat trick, can you imagine? That shirt coming off. If Latte gets a hat trick, I'm nude down the street. Lucky. Latte gets a hat trick, I'm nude down the street. 100%. Stuff leads it, and that's on me being polite. <laughs> Only Rice. Exactly. Holy gets it. Right, here we go. Three subs, baby. Sonny Finch. Sonny Finch. Sonny Finch. Latte's gone off, so there's no hat trick, by the way. Sonny Finch has come on. Sammy! Latte Lath is coming on. He's got two goals. No hat trick for Latte. Latte off. Sammy Silvera on. Latte, what a legend. Well done. So Latte Lath has come off. Sammy Silvera on. Drake Steele's come on as well. Come on, Finchy. Three substitutions for the Borough. 
Jike Still, Silvera, and Sonny Finch all on. I agree, East. I completely agree. Right. Who came on? Oh, Thomas. Was it? Thomas. Must have been Thomas. Must have been Thomas. Thomas has come off. Jike Still on. Right. When are you uploading your meet and greet with McGree? I didn't get one. Kate, I didn't get one. I got one with Sammy Silvera, but it was just audio, but I wasn't allowed to record with Riley. So there isn't any. I'm sorry. I wish there was, Kate, but there wasn't any. 20 years ago. Yeah, 100%. 100%. JP, yeah, 100%. We're so, so close. Finchy comes to the borough, show us some magic. Agreed. Latte off and McLaren's back in charge. No video of you licking McGree? No, I know. I know. Nah, we weren't... Because he got injured. There was going to be... Do you know what I mean? I would have, I would have loved, I probably would have gotten some content with Riley in Canberra, but because he got injured and he went home, you know what I mean? And then after the match, because he was in a moon boot, you know what I mean? You don't want to go up to him and be like, I didn't want, you know, he's a, he's a good friend. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't want to be, a, go up to him with a camera and be like, hey, Riley, you know, how are you? It's me, Ry. Do you know what I mean? And it's, he's in a moon boot. Do you know what I mean? He wasn't feeling that well. So I didn't want to be, uh, you know, annoying or, push the, you know, I just didn't want to annoy him, to be honest with you. Because I guess uh, he would already been in pain. Right, Swansea now. Right-hand side, it wasn't Thomas that came off. All right, booted up clear, looking for Sonny Finch now. Oh, God, imagine Sonny Finch gets a goal here. Vice Latte be fuming, taking me off with a chance at a hat-trick pull by Carrick. Last thing we need is a moody latte. Yeah, true. Ryan Riley, Riley, Aussie friends. With I would say, yeah. Well, I mean, we talk a fair bit on Instagram. And as soon as he saw me, he knew who I was. Do you know what I mean? And we went up and shook. We had like a bro hug. It was so cool. And then I walked Riley to the bus. Because he was on the... T so the bus was like, I don't know, a few hundred yards away. And he was in a moon boot. So I just walked with him all the way to the bus. And we just caught up. I just talked... Asked, he was just asking about my family and how I'm doing. I was asking about him and... He's, you know, his wife, his girlfriend and dog and everything like that. We just, we just chatted like mates, honestly. And, we, and I just walked him to the bus and then I said goodbye to him because uh, we knew he was flying out the next day. Are you in the kitchen? No. Are you hungry? Right. Sammy Severo gets the ball back from Swansea here. Give him a quick kiss. Maybe a sore one. <laughs> Maybe a small one. Swansea now. So, oh, Johnny House and God, you're good. Clears it now. Johnny House and his God, he's good. He plays anywhere. Here comes Sonny Finch chasing the ball, but Nathan Wood will get there first. Forces it back to the keeper. Sonny Finch is still chasing it though. I like the look of Sonny Finch. I like the look of him. He's running everything down. Ball goes to Ailing. Oh, Ailing's tackled really poorly after the ball here. Oh no. It's a free kick and it's a yellow card for Cullen here, the Swansea player. And Ailing is still on the ground here. No more injuries, please. Right, were you and Riley holding hands and smooching on the way to the bus? I'm so jealous. Scratch your eyes out. No, Badger, we weren't. <laughs> uh, Azaz, Latte, Jones off, Silvera, Finch, and Jikes on. Thank you, Stuart. I appreciate that. Right. It looks like it's going to be another substitution here for the Borough. It is. Sam Greenwood's coming off. Gilbert coming on. Up the Borough, Thomas. Up the Borough. Right, Gilbert are on. Gilbert is on. Sam Greenwood off. Middlesbrough leading 2-0 here. Foxes took the lead. Wow. You blew it, man. <laughs> He's putting on Gilbert. Yeah, he likes him, eh? He rates him. They were going to let Gilbert go on loan in the January, but Carrick said no because he wants to see him more. So, yeah. Sammy Silvera now. Oh, my God. Leicester have just scored against Birmingham. Birmingham in trouble. Birmingham in big trouble. It's now 2-1 to Leicester. Great ball up to Sonny Finch. Sonny Finch now. Oh, well done, Sonny. He's chasing everything. Gee, Sonny looks good. Sonny looks good. Luke Ayling now on the ball as Drake still falls over. But Luke Allen gets around one. Gets around another. Oh, my God, Luke Allen. Go! Oh, he puts in a great ball to Jike Steele. Jike Steele can't get there quick enough. 
It's a goal kick to Swansea, but Luke Adding's just left three Swansea players for dead. <laughs> Rather morally regulated. Yeah, and Birmingham are in big trouble now. Goodbye, Rotherham getting there relegated. They're no chance. Now they're gone, yeah. Finch and Gilbert, that's the first. Good luck, guys. Swansea now. 87th minute. I would have put McCabe on as well, to be honest with you. Law McCabe. Gilbert now. Gilbert's got Jike still. Uses him. Jike still now. Down this right-hand side. Jike still back into the box for Gilbert. Can't control it. Swansea clear. Is Latte injured? No. No. He scored two goals. Caleb and they took him off. That latte finished just then. Oh, it was so good, Thomas. So good. The Brummies are level on points with Chef Wednesday now, are they? Thanks, Holy. Jeez, that's scary, man. That's Mogo as well, do you know what I mean? Birmingham got out of the relegations, but they're losing now, aren't they? And Huddersfield are nil all. So it just drags... Oh, sorry. So Huddersfield go to 42 at the stands and bur drags Birmingham... Oh, Birmingham just flirting with it still. Yikes. Yikes. They're out on goal difference. Okay, thanks, Gary. I don't want Birmingham to go down just because of Mogger, eh? Like, I, I know that's... I like, you know, he doesn't bother, bother me or anything, but, like, I don't want Birmingham Brum to go down because of Mogger. Pulls a 2-0 up. Great to hear, Stephen. Thank you. Swansea now. Right-hand side of the pitch. Swansea coming in now. They're cutting in across to the middle of the pitch. What can Swansea do here? Out to the far left-hand side. Into the box now. Swansea trying to cut back in. Shoot. Off a of Borough player. No, it didn't come off a of Borough player. Wow. That was just a shot. I'm sorry to be that shocked by you there, Lowe, but... Oh my God, that was a shot. It didn't go off anyone. Uh, so Lowe has done exactly what Latte Lath just did. He stepped back in and tried to curl it in, but his attempt went to Australia where Latte's went top corner. <laughs> FA Cup soon, you're going to back commentary to take down United? No. But I mean, it'll be good to see. How is Mogga gone? It's gone worryingly quiet on formation to him. Badger, I, we spoke to um, Bernie Slavin a week or so ago. And he said he went round for a cuddle and he's in good spirits and looking strong. So that's all I know. And that was about a week ago. But obviously he's uh, he can't return to the football pitch just yet. So yeah, yeah. Brom, we're doing okay with uh, Mogga since he went off. Roll in charge till the end of the season. Yeah, it's not good, is it? I'd hate to see Mogga's like, team go down though. But his health is the priority. Oh, well done, Matt Clark! Matt Clark slides in, gets the ball back. Sammy Silvera, the Aussie. Sammy, steps one, steps two. Tackled by the Swansea player. Free kick. Don't know how. Tell the manager we need new players. We're winning 2-0, Freddie. Huddersfield have just scored. Did Huddersfield just score? Huddersfield scored? Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's not good. That's not good for Birmingham, right? Did Huddersfield actually score? Right, Swansea on the ball, halfway line. The commentators are laughing and having jokes between themselves, by the way. I don't know what's happening on in the game. Uh, like the BBC T's guys are just sitting there laughing. I, I, like, they're telling jokes to each other. Like, they're not commentating on the game, so it's distracting me. I can't actually concentrate. Bald Eagle for president. Man of the match, Bald Eagle. Yeah, 100% Matt Clark. 100% Matt Clark. Oh, you, you give it to Latte for two goals. Do you know what I mean? You give it to Latte for two goals. I would say, but Matt Clark's right. Very, very close. Matt Clark's very, very close, for sure. Four minutes of out of time. Four minutes of out of time. And Huddersfield have scored. Wow. Jeez. So does that, that puts Birmingham in relegation, right? Jeez. They're still laughing and telling jokes. Like they were, they're not talking about the game at all. They're like laughing and telling jokes. It's really, it's really distracting. All right. Swansea now. Down left hand to the side. I can't believe Balassa hasn't scored yet in the borough and he's been here for a year. Yeah, well. Oh, God. Here comes Swansea into the box. Cleared by again by Matt Clark. Honestly. Matt Clark. Do you know what I mean? He's getting through of everything. Into the box. Punched out by Sonny Dan. Cleared by Johnny Housen. Then Gilbert clears it again. Up looking for Sonny Finch. 
But Swansea will get it. And they'll load up again. Two minutes left. Of... So, yep. And it's Sheffield Wednesday, 42 points. Wow. Swansea now. Down the right-hand side. Up forward, right-hand side. Yeah, Huddersfield have scored Healy. 1-0. Jeez, that's not good for Birmingham. And Birmingham are third last. Far out. Dude, what an appointment. They were sixth. <laughs> they were sixth and they pointed Wayne Rooney. What has Wayne Rooney done to Birmingham? Yikes. Swansea corner cleared by Matt Clark again. Honestly. Honestly, somebody build a Matt Clark head statue. Jeez. The tease radio on this borough game isn't good. Low, I had to turn it off on way home. I, they were just joking and laughing, and it's really distracting. Holy, it was, yeah. Gotta go, but I'll catch you on the next one. No worries, Stephen. Thanks for hanging out, legend. It's a borough goal kick, by the way. Swansea tried to whip it in, but the wind absolutely takes it again. And it flies out. Goal kick here. Baldini has to get better of the match. 100%. Honestly, Matt Clark, is at, he's been so good today. I know Latte scored two goals, but Matt Clark, baby. Do you know what I mean? He's so good. Sun a little drawing. Yeah, what a boring game that's been. What a boring game that's been. Nil all. So that's nil all there. That finished nil all. What about Newcastle? Newcastle beat Fulham 1 0. Wow, Bruno. So Newcastle beat Fulham 1 0. And Middlesbrough have just beaten Swansea 2-0, baby. Woo! Get in! Great afternoon for the Borough. We've beaten Swansea 2-0 at the Riverside, baby. On your bike, Swansea. Back to Wales. The Borough are here to stay. You Get in! Get in. What a performance. My man of the match. I'm going to have to say... No, I'm going Matt Clark. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people will say Latte last, but I'm going to say Matt Clark just to be different. Matt Clark killed, killed it today. He did not let anything through. Matt Clark, you are a god. You're a sex muffin, and you're my big bald eagle. 100%. Latte last with two goals. It's 2-0 to the bar. We've beaten Swansea. Get in! And Sunderland drew nil, nil all. So guess what that means? Say it with me, Borough Chat. Say it with me. Mind the gap! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it, Borough fans. Thank you so much, guys. If you're on your way out, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It's free to do. Hit the thumbs up as well because it helps the stream grow. I love you guys. Mwah! Thank you for joining me for a fantastic game. Borough have beaten Swansea 2-0. Stay safe in this crazy world of ours. I love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. We'll be back for the whole game midweek. Mwah! 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 Love you always and now and forever. And as always, up the bar!